Anyway, music. Um, no, we need to start from a song. Sad. Next one. Ooh, love like you. Okay. Maybe a love like you. Yeah. Mm, if I could begin to be what you think of me, I could do about anything. Learn how to love when I see the way you look. Wondering when I'm coming back, I could do about anything. Shit, what do I need to do? <laughs> oh yeah, I need a camera battery in my camera, don't I? I need some of those. I keep forgetting. I love you. Love bug, welcome in. How you doing? Bring on love like you. Turn out my volume. There we go. Um, making my chair higher because I look short in camera. I look so short. Wait, where am I recording? There we go. Uh, <laughs> I always thought I might be bad. Now I'm sure that it's true. Bam! I think you're so good. And I'm nothing like you. Boom, boom. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Welcome in, everyone. Garrus, Arsonist, Pomi, Rambu, uh, Corey. That was hard for me to say, I don't know why. Anyway, thank you so much for the first. I'm gonna uh, make you make you a VIP now. Um, because you get the VIP for the, being the first and you also get bragging rights. Make sure you tell everybody about it. Make sure you tell everybody, pester them. Pester them so hard right now. You better pester them. I forgot to turn my lights on. <laughs> ah, oh, okay, there we go. Um, wait a second, wait a second. Uh, C-O-R, there we go. Spelling, I love spelling. Yo, I can do about anything. Guys, would you bully me in this outfit? <laughs> I'm wearing suspenders. Actually, they're kind of close together. Let me move them out. Um, I'm wearing suspenders and a bow tie. Would you put me in a? Would you put me in a locker? Would you put me in a little American locker? Would you give me a swirly? Whatever one of those are. Sounds like a. Sounds like something that would I would actually enjoy. You know. Oh my butthole. Uh, anyway. Um, would you Would you put me in a locker? Would you stuff me in a locker? You know. Uh, Steve Urkel fashion. Oh, fair. Urkel core. <laughs> Very Urkel core of you. Yeah, so so true actually, so true. Oh what? My my light isn't working. Oh shit, the battery's coming out. One sec. If I electrocute myself and die, don't don't grieve for me. Anyway, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> the lights work. Yay. I love your outfit. Thank you, thank you. I look like I should be doing this. You know? I can't I, I can't wait to do this at least seven hundred times today on stream. Um Down and go, mm, 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 mm. Lynn. What the heck? I just started stream. Okay, I wanted to say hello, welcome in. My name is Frog Glasses. Do you do, would you bully me in high school, uh, Lynn's audience? I am wearing suspenders and a bow tie like Steve Urkel right now. Um, very Urkel core. Uh, don't, don't worry about the, the, the mouth and the cheeks, I, it's just, just, you know, it's kind of like a vibe, I don't know, it's just kind of a vibe. Um, hoi hoi you precious bean, hoi hoi you precious bean, yeah. I, I get my precious bean sticker and I slap it against your forehead, making a, a hearty but, you know, wet kind of slap sound. Yeah, you know exactly what I mean, someone, someone do the command, someone do the command, I know you got it, I know you got this. Um, <laughs> now nah, you're much better, um... Wait, what's mine? What's a lot better? Uh, got a lot more color. Oh, I've got more colorful Steve Urkel vibes. Yeah. And there's some Urban Outfitter jacket that was uh, totally not stolen. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, I would wear that outfit. Hell yeah. Me too. It wasn't stolen, by the way. Clarification. Didn't steal it. May or may not have replaced some price tags because it wasn't a price tag on it and it was in the sale option. No, but we're not getting into this. We're not getting into this today. I'm, I uh, abide by the lore. Sometimes, um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, easy boy, but you have too much style to get really mean. Hell yeah. You would bully me, but like, but like kind of a little bit bully, you know, just be like, Haha, nerd. And then you would like, you skate off with your little backwards cap and your, uh, red converse, you know, <laughs> solo cup in hand, you know? Um, but anyway, hi, welcome in Lynn's audience. I am Frog Glasses. Um, you could, uh, I could describe this community as like a cozy blanket, but you lift up the blanket to see 15 pounds of crack and approximately 2.3 venomous snakes, you know? 
we have some cozy, we have some chaos. But if you like this very open queer space where we're unfilteredly cursed, but in a very chill way, <laughs> then I hope you enjoy this channel. Um, I do art, obviously. Uh, some of my artwork is in the bottom left there. It's a bit old, though. Um, if I'm just gonna... I don't have my iPad connected just yet. You kind of caught me off guard here, but... Um, uh, today we're working on a graphic novel, because I have a project where I have to release an entire graphic novel in, in, in three weeks. So, you know, that's fun and stressful, and it, it might, it might kill me. I don't know. If it kills me, so be it. So be it. <laughs> but, you know. Um, oh god, wait, 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 wait. Uh... I really need this stream to, what was it, uh, emotionally recover from the Owl House. I haven't watched it yet, I haven't watched it yet, no spoilers, no spoilers. I haven't watched the last episode yet. I'm gonna watch it with a friend, because my friend is re-watching it now, and they happen to re-watch it when the last episode's coming out, so I'm just like, oh, oh, you know? I need to watch it with them, but yeah. Uh, Kablulu, welcome in, how you doing? Um, I won't spoil, I cried so much though. Oh, I don't want it to end. I do not want it to end. Uh, Lynn's people, are you? Oh, by the way, sorry, Lynn. Do you want to share any artwork you did today? I'm so sorry, I completely ignored you. Also, if you want to go eat, lurk, do your thing, I don't know, shit your bed, I don't know, um, then do that. <laughs> do that if you wish. Um, I do not mind. Uh, but yeah, if you want to share any socials or anything like that, please go ahead. Um, Lynn is a great person by the way please go follow them they're so sweet and their streams are so chill and so funny <laughs> um are you wearing glasses i kind of kind of wearing glasses it, about as much glass as i can put in them you know without ruining my eyes <laughs> what's my favorite food Ooh. um okay so my favorite fruit is dragon fruit uh, and I will stand by that. And if you if you hear Kavix, by the way, Kavix, the other VTuber, um, and they say that dragon fruit is basic, shut them up. <laughs> Commit a crime against them, okay? Like just one, just one crime, because me and me and Kavix are in a war. That's all you need to know. Anyway, um, I'm gonna move Frog down. He's a little bit high. There we go. Get down. Um, what's I gonna say? Uh, favorite food. I don't know what my favorite food is. I think it's egg drop soup with chicken. Um, because it reminds me of the time I went to China with my mother and we had that every breakfast and it's very homely. And my mother makes it very good because she makes it authentically with like lotus paste and shit. And it's so good. Um, it's so, so good. <laughs> dragon fruit tea is so good. Ah, why must I be in Britain? Why must dragon fruit be so expensive? Breaks table. <laughs> Breaking table sound effect, you know? Um, dragon fruit is not basic, right? Right? Their favorite fruit is like apple. And they call me basic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If your favorite fruit is apple, you have no personality. <laughs> That's not true. But, um, it's not true. But it is funny. Um, right. Let's see. Uh, what do I have to do today? Before I jump into stream, I need to quickly download an image from my book group and, um, and then, yeah, I'm going to be doing that on stream today. Uh, I don't know what it looks like yet. I think I need to rework the colors and everything of it. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, let me go in. I don't want to expose my friends or whatever, so I'm going to gonna quickly just have a look. Where is it? Is it this one? Why is it so low quality? What is low quality? It's weird. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... There's um there's some tension in our group, right? Um, because the the colorist, which is the person that does the the colors in the comic before I go and render it, have been using colors outside of our palette, which means I have to be fixing their mistakes. But it's fine. Um, it's fine. They're not that experienced with color work, so it's like it's unfair for me to put that standard on them. But also, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, apples are basic. So true. Green apples are. So sour. I don't know how anyone likes. Are you a green apple liker viewer? Oh, dear viewer of mine. Are you a are you a green apple viewer? A uh, green apple liker. I'm a green apple tyrant. Dare I say? I, I I'm not a green apple fan. Um, quickly just load up my air server. One second. Um, <laughs> I'm watching our house um ep third season again. Oh hell yeah. Huh. I shouldn't have called you over the phone, I know. Why is it not connecting? It's not connecting! There we go. Got it. Never mind. Got it. 
I think. I think I got it. Unless it... Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, <laughs> right. So, last stream... Um, well, the stream before that stream, I guess. We finished this piece, um, which is one comic panel of the, the person, another person. And then we finished this one. I mean, I finished this one kind of in my own time. I need to revisit this one. Um, I might do uh, like some really basic shading like on the shoes are kind of just flat and stuff like that uh and this ladder i think i need to fix this ladder but other than that there's not that much to be done um i need to make a new canvas very very quickly make sure that's very colorful for me. okay cool um i need to quickly just insert an image there and your and this should oh wait actually i think it is supposed to be that size but yeah this is going to be the next comic palette we're doing. I need to fix the colors to fit our color palette, but that's about it. That's all the work that has to be done. So yeah, will you post the final product? I don't know how much distribution I could actually do with the final product, but yeah. Um, why do you always assume uh, a ridicule for your outfit? Why does the sideways? Uh, why does? Why did a sideways snapback clad lad on a skateboard wielding a red disposable cup call you a nerd hypothetical situation? Um, because we live in a, a 60s rom-com, girl meet world kind of style, you know? <laughs> That's why, Kabulu. That's why. And also, I think my outfit is slay. So, <laughs> just saying. Apple cinnamon Cheerios are the best Cheerio flavor, though? Oh, really? I've never had them. I don't think we have very good cereal in the UK, so... <laughs> um, do you like tea? I do. I actually have some tea with me right now. So, I'll be drinking. I have been experimenting with my tea and I think I found the best tea flavor, okay? Now hear me out. It contains rice. So, jasmine, honey, rice milk, milk some rice cows, boom. Bussin tea. Thank you, Julian. Thank you. Oh, you're so right. I so forgot. <laughs> I so, so forgot. Um, let me see. On Melancholy Hill. There we go. Thank you, Julian. Um, interesting. Have you had a uh, hoticha? Is it hoticha? Is that how I'm supposed to say that? Or hotichata? Horchata. Hochata? Isn't that the roasted rice milk? Or I think that's what you mean. Um, I think that's what you're talking about. I've had a uh, uh, gamecha, which is like, no, no, horchata. Okay, I've never had that before. Let me let me search it up. Uh, or maybe I have, and I just don't know the name. Um, let me search it up. Let me search it up. Okay, boo, 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 boo. what is it? What does it contain, huh? What does it have? Um, uh, beverages, plant based milk, sometimes with animal milk. It's Spain soaked grounded tiger nuts. Tiger nuts. Whoa, who's poor? What poor tiger got their nuts? Um, no, I haven't had it before. It sounds really good, though. It looks really good. It looks really good. Hmm. It's just like, it just looks like milk, though. What What's in it? I actually don't know. Um, white rice, sliced almond, vanilla extract, cinnamon. That sounds really good. That sounds really, really nice. Hmm. Sounds creamy, too. A cinnamon, I think a little bit of almond milk. Yeah, it looks really nice. Um, hmm. That sounds great, though. That gamma cha, which is like a roasted rice tea, which is so, so refreshing. It's like, it's like slightly savory, but it's, I don't know, it's not, but it is also slightly savory. It's really good. I actually really, really enjoy it. Um, did you get an Easter egg? No, I'm, I don't do Easter. Um, cause I'm not a chocolate fan, so like no one gives me anything for Christmas, <laughs> Easter, which is kind of sad because I like white chocolate, but because I say I don't like chocolate, people just assume I don't want any Easter eggs, so they just don't get me any. <laughs> Which is fine. I like, I don't mind that much. I don't care that much, but I could just get, you know, a, a bar of chocolate. It's not, you know. <laughs> I miss your May dress. Maybe on the reboot stream I'll wear it. Maybe. Um, Puffer, for um, thank you, Julian. I don't even know what that was supposed to say. Per faith? Per faith? What does that even mean? Um, what? There are so many Easter candies. Why about peeps? We don't have those in the UK. Or I don't think we do, at least. I don't see them commonly, at least. Um, meant to be. You guys forget that the, the UK is bland as hell. <laughs> you forget that the UK is freaking horrifying for, like, grocery shopping. Never meant to be. 
No, you're away. Nothing has changed. In Alice, we and I'm old and blue. My God, culture shock. <laughs> We also don't have candy corn, but apparently candy corn sucks. So I'm not missing out on anything. Um, by the way, is the music kind of quiet today or is it la Is it like loud? I can't really tell. Um, I'm looking at the levels right now and I can't tell if it's if it's like loud or if it's super quiet. Because I'm turning up my volume a lot and I can't hear it that well for some reason. Uh, my mind is blown. I like candy corn. Oh, you like candy corn? When I had it, it was bad. <laughs> the ancient Canada daily teen regret. Uh, this is random, but does anybody have a good graphic novel suggestion? Yes! Yes, I do! Yes, I freaking do, Art. Okay, okay. Um, okay, can I tell you about my favorite graphic novel ever? Do you want to know about my favorite graphic novel ever? Uh, I talked about this last stream, actually. Um, it's what I based this graphic novel off. So, um, skip book. One second. Um, it is this one book by Molly Mendoza. Uh, it's called Skip. Um, and it is, it's got like the most abstract paneling and like most creative use of colors I've ever seen in a graphic novel. Ever in my entire life seen as a, in a graphic novel, right? So every single, uh, first of all, the paneling is just like beautiful. There's not a lot of words in it either. So I think it's pretty dyslexia friendly. Um, there is some words in it, uh, there is some dialogue, but it's, you know, it's pretty short for the most part. Um, but like, the colours and the textures and the style of illustration is just so beautiful. It's just so, so beautiful. Um, let me show you. So, every single panel, uh, every single story in this entire graphic novel has a certain color palette like for example this is a different color palette to this world the idea of it is that they keep going through portals towards different worlds and different worlds and it, they learn things kinda they learn things from these worlds and they begin to get closer as people right um and every time they change worlds, it changes color palette. And you can see that, like, the artist, like, slowly introduces more of the, the new color palette when they're about to change worlds. And it's so, so well thought out. It's so well thought out and so beautifully rendered. Um, and yeah, I really, really like it. Um, it's SKIP by Molly Mendoza by the publisher No Brow. Yeah. <laughs> Is it a bad time to ask for a doodle reward? Of course not. Go ahead. What do you what do you want to what do you want to do Of course you gotta redeem that reward though. Hee hee hee. Oh god. I'm messing up this ladder. Uh, I'm gonna do that in a bit. <laughs> scary kitty. The kitty is scary but cute too. <laughs> um Hey Frog in chat. Welcome in Danny, welcome in, how you doing? Um Alex, welcome in. Oh shit, I said I'm dumb. I just said yeah, I would do your doodle reward and I didn't say hi. <laughs> What do you want for your doodle? Uh, thank you for the suggestion. I'll check it out. Yeah, go ahead. It's it's like pretty affordable too. Um, I I genuinely think it's like one of the best like uses of anything. I don't know. It's just really cool. It's just a really really cool book. I bought it instantly when I saw it, and I've not regretted it. Uh, can I get a cat girl? Oh, okay. Any any cat girl? Just like any average cat girl. <laughs> Um, I want to create my own graphic novel. It has, um, and I had a really cool idea. I want to make an audio that goes along with the panels to read out the lines, um, with sound effects and stuff. My friend has dyslexia on it, so I wanted to work, uh, my work to be accessible. Oh, that's awesome. That's very, very cool. I remember you asked, was it you that asked, um, if there's any dyslexia friendly fonts? Um, because you can choose. I can just like do any cat girl. Damn, this is... This is, this is so much power. Okay. Um, huh. Let me think. Okay, sure. Yeah. You know, I am not, um, I am not the kind of person that would, uh, that would draw your run of the mill cat girl. So, you know, as this doodle redeem wants, I shall deliver in a weird way. <laughs> Lucy, thank you so much for the. Lu oh, wait, Lucifer, thank you so much for the, uh, for the follow. Welcome to Bond. Welcome, welcome, Stinky. Sorry, I really struggled with that name there. <laughs> um, dyslexia buddies, woo, let's go. <laughs> no, I don't think so. My dyslexia, dyslexic friend always talks to me about how BS dyslexia fonts are for her. Oh, really? Interesting. Interesting. 
I'll alright and do myself at night as long as you're here I'll be all alright Self at night as long as you're here I'll be all alright I'm you my love Okay, I'm wait, I'm gonna scrap this idea actually. <laughs> What am I? Oh, I need to think of a good concept before. Okay, before. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let me let me quickly, um, let me quickly set the timer and let me do some research first. Let me. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna do a, a real shapely, a real shapely cat girl. Um. We're gonna. I'm gonna try and make this not your run of the mill anime cat girl. Cause I could just draw a sexy anime cat girl, you know, pose. But like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that. That's that's a against my 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 brand. You know. Never dream that there'd come a day where i found myself far from your arms okay let's see um i could hardly stand god how the fuck okay let me just think of proportions for like one second let me let me work this out Send me a peach from old georgia I want like really tiny, tiny legs, like super tiny legs. <laughs> Although I'll have to size them up slightly to make them proportionate. There we go. Um, and then like the arm can be like here. As is the shady old place there. Walking with you by my side. Um, sorry, I'm so behind on chat. Oh god, uh, I've had a tough time recently, so I'm glad I could uh, catch stream. Oh well, welcome in, Charlie. I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad I can offer you a little bit of comfort. You know. Um. Uh, I did one of those rainbow orbs and t to go. Wait, wait. I got through the full rainbow and just finished pink. Additionally, one of those rainbow orbs. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but also, welcome in, Crisis. How you doing? Uh, what kind of cursed do doodle are you drawing? I don't know yet. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you know what, actually? Different eyes. Oh, God. This this ideation process is going to take me ages, I think. Send me one little peach. I want, like... I want this cat to have like a pipe, right? Um, and I want this pose to be better. Let me let me do something to this pose. So angles, angles. <laughs> Your friends all think I'm lonely, but they don't really know me. Okay, right. Um, what makes this cat female? Because <laughs> uh, he said cat girl specifically, so now you think. Um, clothing. We'll we'll do it with the clothing. Um, but uh, oh, do you know actually? Big hat, big sun hat. Actually, I like a big sun hat on my characters <laughs> exclusively. Front line. I usually do like two layers of sketches before I get to like the final kind of like illustration, I guess. In the battlefield of landmine. I to blow when I walk in. Mm -hmm. You've been calling me baby. As I can walk in safely Those glory days begin I feel like she should have like some sleigh lashes <laughs> Okay, and then like poofy kind of face, I guess 
poofy kind of cat fur face. I don't know. <laughs> oh god, this uh, this is this is gonna be a speed run. This is gonna be an absolute speed run. Okay, like a feather boa, I guess. I don't know why. I kind of just want a feather boa on this character. Feels fitting, you know. Ooh, 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 okay. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Can I make this into like a coat pad? Um, so like there, there, and then like have like the shoulder parts here, and then we can we can feather that out. There you go. Then like we can have super large uh wrist thingies. What are they called? It's like cuffs? Yeah, cuffs. <laughs> like fur cuffs. Um. Oh my god. Have you seen Lackadaisies? Yes, I love Lackadaisies. I've been keeping up with that project for like years now, I think. <laughs> Have you guys seen the pilot for it? Um, I'm so proud of them for making it. And I like the characters. They're cute. They're so cute. Have you guys watched all Lackadaisies yet? Uh, I mean all the pilots. Oh my god, okay. Um... How am I going to draw these paws? I'm not a furry artist. I don't know how to draw simplified paws. Oh, God. Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Sure, yeah. <laughs> okay. How would you hold a, this as a cat? Oh god, I made so many logistical problems I have to think about. Holy shit, okay. Um, poor pad. <laughs> there we go, cool. That's something. Um, hmm, I need to think about these legums now. Uh, so I'm thinking huge boot, actually. I'm thinking huge boot. Hmm... Okay, so let's let's make like a really long leg, like a long foot. I don't know why, just long foot kind of just appeals to me as a character design. Actually, this is a cat. I forgot. They have to have like cat legs, don't they? It's like bend there and then boot. <laughs> Along the steels of love and stover. The clock in till the work day's over. Time is never straight. Longer than it seems, biblical. <laughs> oh my god, that's such a silly little foot. That's such a silly little foot. Oh my god. I see her face now. Time moving. Gaze now. Uh oh, time never late. So anxiously she wait. Patient is the night. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now, let's line out this in, like, seconds. <laughs> oh, I don't like the hand. Um, let's quickly move this around. Uh, how long do we have? Seven minutes, actually. We have, we have fine. We, we're, we're okay with this. Okay. Um, hey, Bodzo, welcome in. I'm just doing a, um, a doodle redeem right now. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna imagine a lot of this line art right now, so please bear with me. Um, as I try and whittle my way out of this situation, this little sticky situation I put myself in. Okay. I don't know why I went for, like, this kind of eye, actually. Giving me weird Rick and Morty kind of vibes. I don't know. Program to work and not to feel. Not even sure that this is real. Mm -hmm. Find my voice. Let's give her like a, a kind of sympathetic expression. There we go, yeah. Sicker tree is filled with mice. Oh, hello, world. I should do this line out actually, like, kind of zoomed out. Otherwise, it's going to get weird. It's going to look weird. <laughs> I'm not listening to my own device. There we go. <laughs> I love how I'm like, oh, I got to do this one thing. And then I just immediately stop doing the one thing. 
that's the life of an artist, baby. That's that's how you that's how you are. I've got such bad habits now, actually. I don't know why my I've decided to. One of the habits I picked up was like um, what's it called? Uh, zooming in so much means I don't get any work done. <laughs> Hello world. Program to work and not to feel. Not even show sure that this is real. Hello world. Ooh, quack. <laughs> My drawing of uh of you looks kind of weird. Oh wait, you're doing a drawing of me. Hey, yo, Nintendo Zombies, thank you so much for the raid. Oh my gosh. Peel it down and go. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, Nintendo Zombies, we're drawing um, a quote unquote cat girl for a 15 minute uh, doodle redeem. Um, so it's nice to see you. Thank you so much for the raid. Damn. Um, hi, my name's Frog Glasses. I'm going to try and speed run this intro as I'm doing this drawing, by the way. So ignore me if I kind of make some weird pauses. Um, Hi, my name is Frog Glasses R. I'm an artist, illustrator, animator, and digital artist, and quirky little lad. Look at me, I'm so quirky and little laddish. Um, but yeah, I also look like Steve Urkel today. Uh, but like, slay, queer-coded, kind of, uh, Steve Urkel. <laughs> so if you will enjoy my kind of, um, I don't know, my vibes, or if you enjoy things generally, if you just like, if you like things ever, then follow and subscribe. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, but welcome in Nintendo. How was stream? Did you do anything really cool today? Do you have anything you want to show us? Do you have any art? I get close to the mic and I scream it in your ear, you know? The honest kiss will be all right. Um, howdy, howdy. Hey, how cute. That's so cute, Cosmo. Nobody, 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 nobody. Oh, that's a messed up pour, but I actually kind of like it. I don't know why. Um, I don't know why. We're going to keep it. So, big <laughs> and small, big and small, and big and small again. I kind of love this cat. I can't lie. There's something about it that I'm, I'm, I'm quite drawn to. <laughs> Maybe it's the little booties? I don't know. There's something about this booties that I really, really enjoy. Um, no, I just finished the... Uh, just beat the first bot of un going under. Ooh, hell yeah. Sick. That's awesome. Oh my god. I haven't played that game, but I've, so I've seen gameplay of it, and it looks pretty hard. Um, or at least it looks hard for me, because I'm not a gamer. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm just a bad gamer. I'm, I'm bad at gaming, so, you know. Should the heel be up here if like if the sh like the the oh my god what's the what I'm trying to say if um sorry Mitsuki is screaming in my ear right now if the leg bends at the knee which is like halfway through a cat's leg would the heel be like all the way over here I kind of think that's a funny shape but also it looks kind of weird so I'm gonna maybe not. Okay, Whew. let's let's try and make up this belt buckle shape from memory. Oh my god, okay. Nobody no That was not bad. That's not bad. Okay, that was that was that was a pretty good belt buckle actually from just like no sketch. Pretty good. Well, let's see if I can do it again. <laughs> I guess it's not that hard. It's just kind of a square instead of a square, right? Um, that was pretty good, too, actually. A dirty shoe. Why is it just playing a load of Mitsuki today? I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not against Mitsuki, but, like, she, she does distract me with her sleigh, you know? I can't, having, I can't be having that. Sorry, Mitsuki. Dominating the thought of you. Mm -hmm. Oh, pretty girl. Oh, maybe she's a witch. You know what? Profession change. She's a witch now. <laughs> Profession change. She's a witch now. Actually, do I care? No, she should be slay. Let's let's just make her a slay cat. There we go. 
Um, thank you so much for the follow. Who was that? Axel, thank you. Uh, are you good? Happy today? I think so. I got up at three o'clock and it's six now, so I'm still kind of groggy. Um, I'm at like max energy and I cannot wait to crash at like hour two, so. <laughs> kiss promise to be careful with my hello pretty girl here we go uh let's add like a little feather to the hat or something i don't know this feels like there should be something over here um like a like a flower down here so like i'm just gonna do that to represent flower in this kind of style and then we'll we'll add some whooshins here there we go Oh, we've done it. We've done it, guys. Cat done. Oh, shit. I forgot her elbow. Ah, oh, balls. Wait. <laughs> Fuck. There we go. Okay. <laughs> elbow achieved. Anyway, this is this is your cat girl. Um, You probably wanted something sexier. But anyway, there we go. And it goes stretch. Eat. Please take care of my Raiders. I have a stream YouTube, Nintendo. I mean, you. Oh, shit. That's embarrassing. I just said you too. Uh, um. <laughs> Go, go have a nice rest. <laughs> and the tail? Shit. You're right. You're right. Uh, I didn't even think about where the tail would be placed. Holy shit. Um, even steal a kiss. Just promise you'll be careful with my heart, oh pretty girl. Wait, this is a bad tale. Okay, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Cat girl achieved. She's a bit leaning. <laughs> She's leaning just a little bit, but it's it's fine. Don't worry about it. You know, just don't don't just don't worry about it. Just don't think about it too hard. Um <laughs> There we go. We'll just fix it quickly. Boom, boom. Slay. She's she's so fixed right now. She's so equal. Amazing. Um, I've been in VR for nine hours. God save me. Holy shit. I would get motion sick after like three or four. So I don't know how the hell you did that. Um, will you put it in the Discord? I love it. Sure, yeah. I'll put it in the Discord now. Um, I'll put it on share and stream and you can, you can save it from there. Nightly, daily and nightly. Yeah, why the hell? Oh, there we go. Um, share, share on the stream. There we go. Cool. Um... Right, not actual VR. Do you mean just not life then? What do you mean by that then? <laughs> Lamau, thank you, Kane. I appreciate the statement. Ah! <laughs> Have a hoppity day. Hey, wait, Karis, are you leaving? Um, how is it? How is Easter being? I don't do anything for Easter, but you know, you aren't a bad gamer. We all saw that Victory Royales. Aiden, shut up about Fortnite. Fortnite's different. Fortnite, not, Fortnite isn't a game, it's a lifestyle. <laughs> Um, but anyway, um, yeah, we're going to be just quickly fixing up this ladder and then we'll be moving on to the next piece. So sorry, I had to be spending two streams on this. Um, uh, I, I did want to, I did want this to be finished sooner, but you know, life happens, I guess. Uh, let me just put the stabilization up a little bit so I can make this ladder a little bit straighter. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I drew the lines to the sketch so straight, and I'm so... <laughs> I'm so sad that they didn't get that in the coloring process. I did it so perfectly. You too. I like that. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. Okay, so this is better. That's better. You know what? I'm 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 okay with this. I'm gonna just put like some texture in there to like kind of distract from the fact that it's a little bit wiggly. You know, I'm just gonna put some little little texture lines in here. Um, let me get the rake brush out. Where is it? Okay. 
okay, let me take this color, put that there. Sorry, I'm not really talking much, am I? Um, <laughs> I gave the belt buckle a little cat ear. <gasps> oh, shit, that was such a better idea, Art. Oh, I should have done that. Thank you so much, though, for that suggestion. Um, good job. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate it. Uh, no, I'm not leaving. I just wanted to say, uh, say, oh, I see, I see. Need energy to draw? Well, I mean, you might as well draw along, right? You don't need energy to draw. You just need energy to start drawing, you know? As soon as you start, like, like, load up the software right now and just, like, have it in front of you. You'll start. You'll do it. It'll happen. Um, let's see, I think, honestly, they're done, besides, like, a, I need, like, a little bit of highlight on here, but I'm not, not much. Maybe, like, a, if I take the red, put that on there. Yeah, honestly, that's fine. <laughs> let's just, like, sample a color in between. There we go. Cool. Boy down. If you want to stick within a color palette, by the way, in a piece of artwork, the easiest and, like, most effective thing to do is like take the a color from the color palette put it on top of the other color and like zoom into the pixels and like sam color sample it like it's honestly it's like the most effective way i think in my opinion I tend to not do like super limited color palette stuff um, besides like once or twice. And honestly, whenever I do like a super limited color palette, I love the like the look of it. Like I just absolutely adore the look of it. Like what was what was the one of them that I did that was like super limited? Um, uh, I guess I guess this was pretty limited color palette. I don't know. I don't think so. That's not that limited, honestly. Let's see. What's a, what's a super limited? This one's pretty limited. This one's pretty limited. I really like the look of this one, too. Um, what Discord channel did you put it in? I put it on share on stream. Um, yeah. <laughs> Found it. Thanks a lot. It's okay. It's okay. Have you been asking other streamers for this? It seems like something you've been... Like a little tiny project. <laughs> How you described... Um, what you, why you were asking. I think like going around streams and seeing if they have a doodle redeems and asking them all to draw the same thing is such a good idea. Um, just for like multiple reasons that like, you get to see like artists do different styles and like w how they think of ideas. You know what I mean? I want to make the, the, the edge of the skirt a little bit brighter. I feel like it deserves it, you know? Let's just do that. Um, and then I'm going to use my kind of f fall off brush to do it. This. Um, what have I been thinking about recently? Um, oh my God. Thinking about lots of thoughts actually recently. Uh, number one is I'm getting up so late now. <laughs> Ooh, guys, I'm going to North Wales soon. My mother is, um has invited me to go to North Wales with her, and I'm so excited because I've never been to that side of Wales before. Despite living in Wales all my life, for some reason, we just never visited that part. Um, and I can't wait to go. Sounds really fun. <laughs> my god. Is there a part of the country that you live in that you've never been to? Because I feel like that's such a, that's such a common, not issue, I guess, but like a common thing where people like live in an area for so long and they always go outside for holiday. You know, they always go outside of their area, um, but they never really like, they really explore all of the area they actually live in. 
Mm -hmm. To me, honestly, I don't know much of Wales at all. Because I feel like there's not a lot to do in the country. Because it's just like a very small country, right? So it's not really the fault of, um, of anyone specifically. Uh, Frog, do you want to see a doodles of my uh, friend I made in VR chat? Uh, of course. Yeah, sure. Um, cryptic sentence. Uh, Simon, your cryptic sentence is, on the battlefield, um, they will reign. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a short one. That's a very short one, but, you know, effective. <laughs> They're a rain what? Piss. They're going to piss on you. They're going to go up in the battleship and they're going to piss on you. Um, Drew A's? Drew A-U? Drew A-U's. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to fun. Welcome, welcome. I almost saw that as draw anus, and I was like, yes. Yes, I will draw anus. Thank you for letting me. <laughs> I will always draw anus. Unless I can help it. Um, okay, so this page is done. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> okay. Um, this is going to be quite the, the challenge, I feel like. Um, oh, is it all on one layer? Uh, okay. I really need to talk about this with my group member. <laughs> it's all on one layer. Come on, man. I can't be changing up these colors if they're all on one layer. Um see reference image import image uh this one oh not that one not that one um one second guys let me just quickly totally delete an image from my ipad <laughs> let me just uh, delete an image shut the fuck up every time i go on icloud it's always like you've got no storage and i'm like yes i know <laughs> please stop telling me <laughs> please stop telling me um here we go. There is supposed to be... Uh, there's an image I have for work on there, and I can't be showing that on stream, so... It's NDA. Or N A D N. What's the fucking word? Guys, what's the word? <laughs> what's that word? Not NDA. Something. Shit, what am I doing? Oh my god. Um. <sighs> reference. Yes, here we go. Import. There we go. Jesus, where's my color palette gone? That one, I think? Yeah. Cool. Um, is my color palette in CMYK? Yep, it is. Cool. Awesome. Um, it's... Oh. <laughs> Come on. Make these colors blue. Fit with our color palette. Uh, take this color. And then do this. There we go. That's a bit better. Um, I don't know why we need the yellow in this frame. We can just make these into brown as well. Ooh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> NSFW? No, no, no. It's just like, I can't, it's, um, not NSFW. Uh, it's just like a, a thing I can't show, like, contractually. Um, but yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's not that important. Are you shining just for me? There's a commission, but I'm not allowed to tell anyone about it, so. Stars, there's so much that I can see. <laughs> I wish it was NSFW. You know, one person one day is going to commission me for an NSFW. One day. <laughs> uh, Ruben, thank you for slapping my bald head. Wait, did I? Did it not happen? Oh my god. Wait, did, have I not had my mix it up on this entire time? I'm so sorry, guys. Um, Arla, welcome in. How you doing? I think it's NDA. NDA, thank you. Non-disclosure agreement. Yes, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes, yes. I, I, I know. That's, that's, that's it. You got it. You win. <laughs> and in the smoke scene of the crowded restaurant. Did they change the, the gray? They didn't change the gray at least. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> I forgot that was the sound effect. What? Um, that's a, we have that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I forgot that was a thing. Um, <laughs> uh, be here and you'll be all right. This world I will go with all of thy needs, this crazy feeling. Oh, fucking. Fucking. That's it. <laughs> Jesus. 
They're so scary. I keep forgetting them. I keep forgetting they exist. <laughs> Why do they exist? Hideous stars. I should have done the scene just from scratch. I feel like it would have been easier. It's like now I'm just like painting over shapes that someone's already done. It's like, what's the point of them doing the shapes if I've just like already done it and I'm also going to change Jesus Christ why are they so loud oh my god they, they're terrifying they're terrifying sounds they're scary I'm thank you for the bits but they're scary I'm I'm shitting myself as we speak as we speak <laughs> okay anyway um the shit is coming out of my ass as we speak it's dripping it's dripping but you know Anyway, uh, this is an 18 plus channel. I just wanted to say, <laughs> just wanted to say, I don't want any kids picking up my kind of humor. They shouldn't, they didn't deserve to be this unfunny. Um, thank you for the moisture. I need to be moisturized after my scare. Mm. Oh, the rice milk is so full. It just feels so full. I don't know. Man. Um, what was that? Alice... Alice Rago? Thank you so much for the follow-up. Confound, welcome, welcome. I don't know if I said that last part of your name right, but I got Alice. <laughs> That's something. That's something, at least. Alice, would you bully me in this outfit? Because I would. I would bully me in this outfit. The city of stuff. Oh, shit. Whoa. Ocarina. Um, hi, welcome in. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. hi welcome in um we're doing a page for my graphic novel that i'm releasing very very soon i have to it's uni related so i have to make it in three weeks i'm making a whole graphic novel in a week <laughs> help me save me save me i'm in i'm in hell this is uh, dante's purgatory right there right there someone's getting boiled alive right off screen someone's getting boiled alive this is dante's inferno um <laughs> <laughs> but welcome in. Um, let me show you what my actual work usually looks like. Um, this is a piece of, that I did for the graphic novel. That's like a page that's finished. It doesn't have text on it yet, but you know, just imagine it's finished. Um, this is a piece that we're working on currently with a lot of detail. Do you like detail? Well, we got it. We got it here. <laughs> um, by the way, just wanted to say, if you wanna, if you wanna put any socials or anything or any artwork or whatever the hell you were doing on stream or tell me how your stream was doing, you can put that in the chat. Yeah, uh, here's some more artwork from me. Whoa, artwork, I render. Whoa, so cool. Okay, I'll, I'll be less cringe now, but um. <sighs> oh, <coughs> sorry, this song jump scared me. <laughs> Why do I have this in the playlist? Please, please no, please no. There we go, anyway. um. <laughs> Um, we worked on some Kofi rewards and some D&D &D doodles. Ooh, sick. Oh, can I show you some D&D &D stuff that I've been doing? I turned the warden from Minecraft, this warden, um, into a D&D &D character. And I, I've been working on this design. I need to finish this. Um, do not, do not mention that he has a bulge. I know. I am aware. People have made me very aware. People have made me very aware that they are thirsty. Dare I say stimulated by this man okay and they will not tell me how the, they won't let me live it down <laughs> they won't let me um okay shall i go to a little bit of a raid call um i kind of did all the raid call stuff but i still think it's cool and i want to show you and if you like undertale it's really cool okay so <laughs> anyway i'll show you now um hey hey welcome to the pond stinky welcome welcome how swagalicious i could describe this community as a warm cozy blanket but you lifted the blanket to see fit up out of the and popped only 2.3 venomous snakes you know the usual kind of vibe here you almost spat out your drink you, almost enough about me thank you for the raid are there any socials or any non-specific things you didn't chat that you would like to share on stream links are always allowed of course <laughs> um Oh my god. And, oh, Raiders, can you do me a favor? Could you please click this link in chat? Or could you click on my profile picture? It just means that your lurk counts because we're trying to hit push for partner right now. Anyway, time for some dirty, nasty promo because I lied about there being enough about me. Uh, narcissism. 
is always correct. My Insta has all of my artwork and updates are on on the Discord. I'm on Twitter and all my other socials as well if you want to go look. But yeah, I'm on every platform under Frog Glasses. Um, exclamation point card for all the, all the links. Anyway, once again, thank you for the rate and for being sexy. Feel free to hop on the nearest lily pad and float down to the sleepy zone. Something, 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 wholesome ending to thing. Aha, my face. <laughs> yeah, jump scared, you better be. You better feel jump scared. We're getting close, baby. We're getting closer than you've ever seen before. Um... <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, partner push, let's go. Yeah, I'm trying to go for a partner push. We hit the things, and then I took like a very small break, and then it took me back down. So, you know, like, we're, we're trying to build back up, basically. Uh, my roommate is here right now. I'm very impressed by the blanket animation. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, blanket animation? What, what blanket animation are you talking about? Um, speaking of animation, I, can, I should show the Raiders that I can do animation. Guys, I'm so multi-talented. Oh my god. Oh shit, my calendar. No. <laughs> my photos. My porn. Um, anyway, uh, this is animation. Whoa, he can, he can animate. What? <laughs> Whoa. Okay, there we go. You do, you guys done? Yeah. Um, here's another doodle we were working on uh, and a whip I'm proud of lately. Oh, I love this kind of style of artwork. Okay, I love this kind of style of artwork. Mmm, mmm, Elphia's, Elphia's superiority. It's like white supremacy, but way less harmful because one of them isn't real. Um, <laughs> that was an iffy joke. Anyway, um, I love this style of artwork though. Holy shit, look at this. Oh, the texture in this is beautiful. <gasps> oh. That's so beautiful. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Zooming, 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 zooming. Mmm, 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 mmm. I like this comb brush that you have. Like, really, really like this comb brush, actually. Oh, damn, look at this. This horny lip bite. I'm feeling, I'm fearing, dare I say, stimulated. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, uh, every time there's a hint of small pee-pee. No, Munchie, no. <laughs> oh my, yeah. Uh, thank you so much. I've been trying to practice lately since I don't uh, do not do it often. I've also been practicing my my stuff recently. I've been trying to do a lot of um, like texture studies, which is what this piece was about. Um, it was just like trying to go for more textured stuff and like adding more random ass textures into things. God, there is some random ass textures in here. All right. <laughs> but I'm hoping it's going to come out well when I finish it. Um, I don't know why, I really like the rendering on this frog. Though it's not done, it just looks good. I don't know, there's something about it. But yeah, um, what's another project that we've been working on recently? Uh, here's a uh, biblically accurate burger, I guess. <laughs> God, thank you so much for the follows, everybody. There's a lot of follows, so I'm not going to say thank you to all of you, but thanks. Just just pretend I said thanks, yeah? Just pretend I said it. Um, I'll say it to the last person. Um, so V... C C... Wait, so... V... C... C... V... v so... So C V V yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for the follow. We're gonna the pond stinky. Welcome, welcome, and that goes for every one of you stinkies. I have to run because I have D and D final to get to. Oh hell yeah! I uh, hope you have a wonderful stream. You too, and also it seems you're a uni fan. Hey yo, we're in the same communities. Um, my phone's about to die. We'll go charge it. <laughs> Right now, by the way, for the Raiders, uh, we're working on this piece, which my colorist, uh, which is the person that does the colors for this this novel, right? They um, Their palette isn't to what the art director wanted, so I'm now adapting it. But the colorist has given it to me on one layer, so I'm rendering this all on one layer. It's fine, it's fine, but, you know. I complain about the colorist, but it, she's fine. She's so nice, but <laughs> she's so nice. It's just like... She hasn't got the experience as a colorist yet, so it's kind of, it's kind of a lot of pressure on her. <laughs> but you know. But I think I need to communicate my feelings with um, like separating the layers and stuff because I cannot keep changing these illustrations on one layers. <laughs> so tedious. And I won't worry. Turn it back around, yeah. I must be wasted for life And you're the brightest thing in my life yeah. you are... Make the- Ooh, no! Oh, I'm gonna have to paint over this. Please <laughs> run and dry. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Um, I think this is fine. Looks fine. These is this a different color from the color in the palette too? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! How? <laughs> how? How? How do they? Uh, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That doesn't mean I have to go over these shapes all over again, though. It's kind of annoying. Oh my god! Even the one I just went over. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Oh my. Um, yes, I would bully you. I haven't seen the fit or said hi, but yes, I would. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Kenny. Uh, I'll show you my fit now. I'm, I'm going Steve Urkel core right now. Uh, kind of out of focus, but you know. Um, Steve Urkel core with my suspenders and bow tie, but yeah. It's like, it's like sexy slay Steve Urkel. It's like Steve Urkel, but if he walked into like a, like a fantasy cartoon, you know? That would be me. Steve Urkel, but he's in the- he's an Owl House background character. Steve Urkel, but he fell into a vat of toxic liquid. Steve Urkel, but he's Harley Quinn. You know? <laughs> that kind of thing. Um... Steve, run and dry. I don't like the contrast of the frames here. I do think the gold frames is a good idea from uh, from the colorist. Maybe I might keep that, um, but I need to make it fit the palette better. So, too good to be fine. Black is too good to be mine. Too good to be. There we go. Okay, so if I do this, does that look strange? <laughs> does that look estranged? It looks a little bit estranged. Um, it does look a little strange. Uh, let's think. Maybe, maybe there's a different color we can make this lower wall. I don't. I'm not a big. Yellow is so bright. <laughs> Um, and this color was just so red. I don't know. Um, hmm, let's make it a little bit more yellow, maybe. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my. Um, it's weird that the colors are uh, are so close, but so off at the same time. Yeah, right. This, there's something... The color harmonies here aren't working at all. I think it's because they're equal saturations. Um, which they just weren't supposed to be next to each other. Um, maybe we can make the background this kind of gross gray color, actually. I know that's kind of weird, but maybe. Let me just, like, let me just block it out. Um. I think it's just the watercolor. I th you know what? I think this watercolor just doesn't work. The idea of this shot, by the way, is that, um, uh, the fireman came to this person's house and, like, started spraying shit. <laughs> In in simple weird terms, that's what happened in the scene. So, um, so yeah, I feel like it doesn't look like water regardless. So maybe we should just lower the darkness of this and the the tone of this. Sorry, and then maybe that might help bring it all together. I'm just gonna paint over it for now. Uh, actually, can I? Oh, slay. Oh, but unslay. Um, hmm, that looks better in my opinion, color palette wise. But maybe not that. That color specifically. Uh, bu -bu -bu. No, like grayish. How about we take this brown color and we find an in-between color here somewhere. Like this one? That looks like shit. Like it actually looks like doo-doo. Like, like physical doo-doo. Um... Countdown, maybe New Year. Okay, uh, idea. Idea, idea, idea. So we take this yellow, we make that brighter, and then the top part, we make the yellow that we just did the wall. Okay, that's less doo-doo. More blood, less doo-doo. How are you guys thinking about that? Does that look more like water to you guys? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really, like, stuck on this one, I think. 
on a show. Um, hmm. imagining what you're doing, uh, Ur Urkel dances a singles song with it. I don't actually know the Urkel dance. <laughs> Steve Urkel, but he's queer circus clown. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's exactly it. Uh, Frog, did you see the doodles I was when I was gone? No, I didn't. Uh, you didn't tell me they were in the stream, so let me do them now. Um, these are very, very doodly doodles. Very MS Paint core. Love to see it. <laughs> I don't even know what that says. Oh, best he they. That's me for real. I take that title from whoever that was. It's mine now. <laughs> it's hard, this. I think the blue works quite well in this scene. And I don't tell you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's um. Let's add something else. Let's uh, let's try adding the the other pieces of artwork that I've done so far, and see if we can take a color from that instead. Let me let go. Let me let go. Let me let go. That looks. It doesn't look like water. That's my thing. It just doesn't look like it's wet. What does a wet wall look like? <laughs> you know, I'm going to just quickly paint over this. Let me let go. Maybe if we have it as like the, the paintings are like kind of dripping out or something like that, that will kind of like make it look like it's wet. Oh, do you know that looks not bad actually as like a concept? Maybe I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Does that look look bad? Does that look okay actually? Because like we could have like a dry spot underneath the paintings or something like that, right? So then it would add that kind of realism to it. See if this works. Uh, how, does this look more wet to you guys? I don't know. What do you think? Um, Pomi, you're so real for that. Urkel would make a great queer circus clown. You're so real. <laughs> you're so real and so right for that. You know. Yeah, I've never heard a, a baster a baster opinion in my entire life. You know, I I think um, Aristotle was once said when he was you know thinking doing his thinking philosopher thing that he said steve urkel would make a great circus clown um and i think you've come to the same conclusion as him honestly that's uh that's very impressive <laughs> how does a wetened wall look I, if i search up wet wall in wet wall like what is that gonna look like oh that's not what i wanted <laughs> that's a shower um, wet wallpaper. Hmm. That's the ugliest fucking bathroom I've ever seen. Holy shit. <laughs> Oof. Yikes. <laughs> Holy fuck. That's, that's something all right. That's, that's an okay use of it. I feel like I could have stopped underneath the sink, but damn. Oof. The shower like that. That's rough, buddy. That's rough. That's rough. That's, that's, that's sing, that's all. Ooh. My back itches? Yeah, my back itches looking at this, yeah. Ooh, my, that's disastrous. That's so disastrous. It's like someone copy and pasted, oh, oh my gosh, Jesus Christ. I would never cook. I would just look at this the entire time. I wonder how much that costs. Good point. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a see. Um, I guess, yeah, we want the wall. Get a quote. Here's a quote. Can we have a quote, please? Uh, oh, I don't want a fucking email. <laughs> oh, God. These all look... Okay, this one's, this one's kind of fine. Because there's, like, nothing else in the room. So this one's kind of okay. But the rest are unforgivable. This one's just... Un this is just, like, sinful. This, is, this one's horrifying. Oh, oh, oh no, that's bad. That's not good. I'm not a fan. 
Oh, that one's... That one's... That one's just terrible. I can't lie. That's kind of terrible. Um, it itches. I can't tell if it's because um, uh, there were flies in my room or not. Why are you telling me about your back itches? <laughs> why are you... Why, why are you no? <laughs> um, shit, what was I looking for? Wet wallpaper. Wet... Uh, Damp wallpaper? No, but it's just gonna come up with mold pictures. What do I what do I search for this? Um water damage house. Mmm, okay. Wallpaper. Water damage wallpaper. That's not it. That's damn A G E. Dam Age. Uh, uh that's not it either. God, how am I gonna? How am I gonna do this? <laughs> I don't think that's the right thing to search. Hey, Laurel, what game are you doing? Um, playing World of Warcraft at the same time. Hell, fucking yeah! Awesome, good to hear. I'm gonna skip the song. This song, this song is making me feel so sleepy. It's such a nice song, though. <laughs> and the man on board. Fair enough. Fair enough. Laurel, how do I draw a wet house? <laughs> how do I draw a wet house? Because, like, this ain't cutting it. This is not cutting it. This just doesn't look like anything, actually. That looks a little bit more wet. In my, it, looks a, it looks a little bit better, in my opinion, like, composition-wise. But, um, but regardless of that, right? Like, I think, I think that looks kind of wet. It's like it's kind of wet core, you know what I mean? Um, is this color actually on the aunt? Wait a minute. Oh, please don't tell me there's just like a made up color put on the aunt, I swear. Been waiting for too long. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like a random green. <laughs> uh. Um, do I not have this other page saved? Wait a minute. Um, I'm gonna quickly export this to myself. Share, PNG, um, save. There we go. No, I'm gonna talk to. I don't need a friend. I mean, the. It shouldn't be that green. I just realized it shouldn't be this green. It should be like. City with a pretty little city of my own. Um, hmm. I'll switch on up for a bigger, for a bigger sky. Okay. Do you know what we can we can make this work actually? Um, guys, I'm in I'm in mental turmoil. This is this is the this is the mental turmoil stream. Welcome to the mental turmoil. Uh, because I don't know what to do here. Like. I don't know what, what I should be doing here, you know? Like, in terms of artwork, I'm so lost to what to do for these colors. Okay, I mean, if I make the frames yellow, that will look better in the whole composition. Like some golden frames kind of thing. Actually, could I just make the the white of these kind of yellow? Would that look weird? It doesn't look that weird. Does this look weird? It kind of looks like piss. <laughs> kind of looks like a uh, piss, so I'm not going to do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh shit. Oh, the city is a pretty little town of my own. Look on up, searching for a bigger sky. Searching for a bigger sky. Sorry, I'm a little bit lost in thought right now. Um, oh, I'm gonna head to bed super early today. Oh, hell yeah. Um, go to bed. <laughs> Have a nice sleep. Thank you so much for coming in to stream, Danny. Love ya. 
Oh my gosh. Levi, welcome in. How you doing? Uh, search for rain wallpaper, but it's just going to be like pictures of rain on wallpaper, I guess, you know? Like, I don't think there's any way I'm going to be able to find pictures of a house that's gotten water damaged by firefighters. Unless I switch up that specifically, but I don't think I can be bothered, actually. <laughs> I don't think I can be bothered for that. Such a dope, such a world bigger sky. Oh, the song's called Clown Fucker, I forgot. Good song name. <laughs> it's a banging song name. You know something? I don't know if Julian's still here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say this now. Um there is one character that Julian loves. Uh, Julian, are you here? I actually it's way more funny if Julian's here to have this argument. <laughs> but it's um it's it's Julian's one pog champ Orpheus from the Hades game. <laughs> I He's so pathetic and weak, and Julian thinks he is the the best thing ever. I don't understand it. He's such a he's just like a little incel asshole. He goes on Reddit, <laughs> you know, angry. Why are you angry? Hmm. God, I've been sick since yesterday, and that combined with the tomorrow's ending uh the owl house ending wait tma teenage mutant aunties what what is tma sorry uh was not easy to handle i've been the magnus archives the magnus archives i got it i got it before you said it i got it before you said it i got it before you said it uh, <laughs> i've been sobbing for 30 minutes oh god it's laurel no wait did it end end oh my god is that like a is that a new thing i should get into the magnus archives i feel like i i I keep saying I'm going to get into the Magnus Archives, actually. I keep saying it. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I have to remember. That's the thing. I need to remember to get into it, you know? If I listen to it once, I'll probably get into it again, but, you know. Not a happy episode. Oh, sad. <laughs> well, angry and overwhelmed and frustrated, weird emotions. Oh. Do doom do doom <laughs> zoom off uh zoom out of what it's uh telling me to zoom out of this actually tell me to zoom out of my artwork it's for me there we go okay um mm, i uh <laughs> what would you think is the best dates for you guys to do um for you guys, what is the best date for the the reboot stream? I wanted to ask, um, because now I'm at the point where I'm I'm wanting to do the reboot stream this month. I said I was going to do it this month, but now it's getting very late in the month, and then I'm going away back home for like a while. So I'm gonna have to push it back m more than I thought, which is really upsetting. But uh, I'm gonna have to do it just because I'm just not in the right place to do it. So I don't know what what's the best time for you guys. It's gonna be towards the end of the month, sadly. Um, might be like towards the end, end of the month if I'm unlucky, but you know, we'll find out. We'll see. As long as it's not the 27th or 28th. Oh, why is that? This piece is causing me distress. I thought it was going to be an easy one, but it's just a distressing one. <laughs> I was wrong. I, I lied to myself. Oh my God. 
Okay, now this now now the colorist is not even sticking to the character design colors. What's happening here? <laughs> What's happening here? Pick some random ones. Oh my, um... I've been really enjoying this Filipino music, actually. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, hey, oh, Tagalog? Yeah. This, I think, um, I think Trish, um, suggested me this one. Ah, uh, my flatmate for anyone that didn't know. Oh, yo, yo. Wait, am I using the wrong brush? <laughs> Ah, my edges, they're not going to be consistent now. Ah! Cries, screams, screams into the void right now. Screaming into nothing. God damn. Okay. Um, I'm going to use this one first of all. It's the wrong brush. There we go. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, sorry guys, I'm I'm feeling so quiet today. I don't know why. Um I just got a lot on my mind today, I think. <laughs> I did just get up like three hours ago. I you can't expect me to be awake <laughs> awake and social right now got up at like got up at three like literally had breakfast two minutes ago and that was being my meal today um my sleep schedule's funny it's, it's kind of funny right now i'm getting a good amount of sleep though so that's fine <laughs> thank you for slapping me frog i said i was flustered not frustrated oh um why is tts not working i don't know oh no is tts not working that's kind of sad. Wait a minute. Let me test some things out. Um, let me test some things out. One sec. Is this going to work? Well, the sound effect worked, but there's no, there's no thing on screen. Ah, that's so annoying. Ah. Is it, is it, oh, it's seriously not working. Wait, my PNG isn't on screen. Why is my PNG not on screen? Where is he gone? There he is. Damn. Uh, what if I refresh this? Maybe if I refresh the scene, then it should work? Question mark? Oh, hey, okay, okay, it worked, yeah. I think it should work now. Let me just double check. Um, let me, let me. Yeah, there we go, okay, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, cool, I'm gonna just quickly. I think the images aren't coming up on screen, but that's that's actually not that bad so i don't mind i don't mind i don't mind um let me just quickly just make this like way shorter there we go cool um sure sure <laughs> uh he said bye who said bye who said bye <laughs> sorry i'm welcome in by the way i forgot to say hi do i need to pull some redeems i don't think so your frog oh my frog said bye yeah Okay, that worked. I saw the head pad there, so that worked. Guys, this is going to be something I change in the reboot, is, like, what service I use for my commands. Because I'm kind of sick of it, like, not working all the time, and, like, all that. And that's going to be taking me the longest time in this whole process, I think. Is, like, redoing all my commands, adding some new shit, too, which is going to be, I'm planning for. Just a lot of my mind recently. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm 
Okay, let's see. Um, I don't like how her hair looks like a butt. That's just not fun. Maybe I should make her... Ooh. What's your fave candy? Um, I can tell you my least favorite candy is candy corn. Um, my favorite candy is this one really specific British candy that only appears in like the old, old, old corner shops. Let me see if I can find it actually. Um, I think it's just called milk. That's the thing. I can't, I can't search it up because it's just called milk. <laughs> like the brand name is called milk and also the candy name is called milk. So I, I honestly don't know. Um, uh, milk candy. But like that also comes up with a lot of different other kind. Oh, it actually came up. Oh, okay, okay. It actually came up. Wait a minute. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, so let me show you. Um, yeah, these bitches. It's j it's literally just called milk. <laughs> yeah, the, the like milk flavored shoes. I love them. They're so good. <laughs> They're so so nice. I don't know why. They're just good. They have like a slight vanilla taste. I guess I don't know. Um, milk bar. No, no, no. Just just milk. Just milk. It's like, um, if you've ever had to chew it, it's the same kind of texture, but with just a milk flavor. I don't know. It's good. <laughs> I used to love those. I still love those. I still love them a lot. Never had candy corn? Oh. Um, I don't recommend it. It's just fondant. It's not good. It doesn't taste good, or at least the ones I've had hasn't, hasn't tasted good. So, you know, I can't really suggest them to anyone else. I'm gonna bring back the cat, don't worry. <laughs> just touching the edge of the frames like that is just kind of weird. I want to make this uh, this baby picture like way more tilted. I feel like it's uh, kind of just too even on the frame there. Go. Right. Okay. Um. Ah. Oh, Jeez. Colors today are actually boggling my mind. I think doing work on stream is like the bane of my existence because it means I can't talk ever uh, i hate licorice oh really you're a licorice hater so i've i found out that like licorice is like hating licorice is a very british thing um like licorice is fucking everywhere in in norway uh, when i went all to norway it's, it's like everywhere it's in everything and apparently just people like licorice there and i never really considered that an option because britain hates licorice so much and we, i don't i didn't realize we did so much you know I don't know, just generally people don't like licorice. It's weird. It's weird in comparison, I guess. I don't know. It has it that the moss grows on the left side of the trees. Okay, then we're gonna just like put a little nose there. I want I want the cat to have its tongue out actually. There we go. Looks more dog like. Wait, <laughs> looks very dog like. Let me round these ears a little bit. There we go. <laughs> I made a deal with the group that I could put anything in these picture frames as long as one of them had to be a cat, so I have to put a cat in it. <laughs> there we go. Nobody here and nobody knows. Boom be dum bum ba dum ba dum bum bum bum. Uh Neko. Neko. Neko Atsume. Does anybody remember that game, actually? I remember Neko Atsume took over the world for, like, a good, like, month. I didn't realize it was, like, um an, a mobile app for quite a while. I thought it was, like, a whole brand. I guess it is. Um, But, like, the idea that it's, like, a, a mobile app, but I know the word Neko Atsume, 
without even knowing what the game is about. <laughs> I think you just do take care of cats from what I've heard about the game, but you know. Yeah. Too much. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, let's see. So drag that in there. Oh my god, it's a different colored white. Of course it is. Okay. <laughs> of course it is. It's like a slightly different shade of white. What? Wait, that doesn't look like the right kind of white either, actually. No, that isn't. What the hell is wrong with this image? This is weird. Okay, um, this is weird. I don't know why it does this. Hmm. Strange. Um, it's strange. I, I don't know what's up with the color palette now. Like, I feel like it's, it was fine and now it's not fine and now it's, like, not fine again. I don't know. <laughs> I'm having a lot of doubts about this piece right now. Even if it is just like a really simple piece, it's like, I don't know, it's an important frame. So I want to, I want to make it look right. You know what I do like about Matilda's silhouette is that you can kind of tell it's her um, in any position. Even with this like really crowded pose, you can kind of tell it's her, which is really nice. I, I think I did a, an okay job of um, the, the character silhouette, actually. I'm kind of proud. Kind of proud. She looks weird as hell, which is exactly what I need. <laughs> okay, so oh my god. Uh in my groups uh mother slash therapist, what? I was in a horror movie. Um, I've been in... Uh, there was a Netflix series that I, I think is only in America or something like that. Um, I think it was World of War or World World of One or something like that. I was in a like a, a zombie movie. Um, but I wasn't actually on screen. So I was technically in it, but I was dead. <laughs> so I just had to like lay down for a while. And then they told me... Well, okay, so the, uh, let me tell you the full story, actually. So... Um, I was in this, I was in this movie, I went through seven hours of makeup, right, seven whole hours to look like a zombie, and then they told me as soon as I got on set that they didn't need me, because they were like, oh, we, we have enough characters, we don't need you right now, and I was like, okay, cool, um, so I thought they were going to just do something with me later, they didn't, they just put me in makeup for seven hours, and then made me sit outside in the British winter for seven hours of filming that day, actually, it wasn't seven hours, it was until, like, what, it was from... 10 till 10 so it would have been 12 hours it was 12 hours i just sat outside no fucking coat because they all took my coat away as well so you know it was it was kind of bad actually like production wise it was really messy um they just kind of made me sit out like that <laughs> i was like is there a coffee machine and they were like no i was like okay <laughs> can i go on set and they were like no and i was like okay i guess i'll just sit here in this park for 12 hours with no charge or wi-fi that's cool Really, really boring. <laughs> but I got paid, so I don't mind that much, I guess. And it's funny to talk about now. But yeah, being in a horror movie isn't all that's cracked up to be. It's just a lot of makeup time. <laughs> um, If you're talking about, like, if you wanted to be in the world of a horror movie, absolutely not. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> horror movie worlds aren't good for a reason, you know? I don't want to be in a world where those exist. I already think that I'm about to die every other minute of my life, and there's no, like, actual real horror movies in this life. So it's like, you know, why would I want another horror movie? <laughs> I already think I'm in danger all the time. So, you know. Um, 
anxiety moment, I guess. <laughs> Let's see. Do, do, do. I have to think this looks a little bit more like water. It looks kind of drippier, you know, than the, the actual wall drips. I feel like the wall drips didn't convey it super well. Da, 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 da. Kind of want the paintings to look drippy in themselves, but it's kind of hard to make it look drippy and also be able to tell what they are from silhouette. So I'm gonna be have I'm gonna have to be really careful with this. I wonder if anyone has taken any pictures of the things I wanted to search up for reference for this. Because I wanted to search up like a reference of um, a wet wall, right? But... Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, oh, you love her, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think I think the being in a world of a horror movie would be fun for like three minutes until my life is in danger, you know? Like, the thing about horror movies is that we never actually have to confront the thing inside the horror movie. It's not fun and it's not okay when we're there. It's just traumatizing if we're there in real life at that situation, right? I would never want to be in, um... I would never want to be in a horror movie. Even like something like um, uh, Parasite, if you guys have seen the, the thriller Parasite, it's not technically a horror movie, it's more of a thriller, because like nothing paranormally ghosty kind of happens in it. It's, it's very mundane, but some of the most tense scenes in it is when they're like sneaking around a house, for example, and there's not really a threat, there's just like a social threat, right? Um, and, and it's like one of the most tense scenes in all horror. In, in, it's very, very, not in all horror, I guess, but it's a very, very tense scene out of the horrors I've seen. So, you know, I think that was the most tense part of the movie. Like there is a, uh, I guess spoilers, there's a little bit of murder happening in that, in that movie, a little bit of murder and blood, but it isn't as tense as when they're just sneaking around a house, <laughs> which I think is really good cine cinematography then, right? um but they the gays always live they don't <laughs> what do you mean the gays famously die in all of them like the what do you mean <laughs> isn't the bury your gays trope like super famous am i am i wrong about this like <laughs> Funny how there's been a demand for anime that uh that is just about living life quietly lately. Yeah, I think there's um I think I think it really says a lot about like our current social climate, I guess, for lack of a like a lack of a simpler word. <laughs> um because I feel like a lot of people are just kind of sick of this fast moving capitally consumerism -y life. So a lot of us just kind of want to resort back to what we think is calm, right? With like Studio Ghibli movies, uh, movies for example, and stuff like that. Um, and I just go de going back to like mundane high school things. I think that's why like the high school genre is so popular. Even for people that aren't in high school. Like I can imagine, I can imagine and understand why the high school genre of anime is so popular for people in high school, obviously. But then when you leave high school and you still watch 
you know, anime about high school. It says a lot, I think. It says a lot about, like, nostalgia, because nostalgia does kind of control how we think and we see the world. Um, number one, nostalgia is always, like, better in our memory than it is in real life, because we can't remember all the details. So we just pick apart the parts that we remember being fun or not being fun or whatever, you know? Um, as for, like actual nostalgia the concept of it is you know we see something that we recognize we can we think we can trust it the same thing with like i guess high school anime or like animes about farming or whatever the hell studio ghibli's doing <laughs> you know um we understand these kind of like concepts and they're familiar to us so we we allow our minds to like buy them or you know trust them if that makes any sense so it's like a form of what's it called um affinity bias where if you know a thing or you see a thing and you've like trusted it once before you think you can trust it again uh by the way that's how racism works uh <laughs> that's how casual racism works through affinity bias um for example in in the greater scheme affinity bias is usually used for people where for example, you have a group of white friends, you know you can trust white friends or whatever, um, and then once you're forced out of your comfort zone, you feel like you can't trust anyone else that isn't at, of that group. That's why it's usually used in, like, context, but yeah. Um, it was a thing that we, our university actually, like, made us learn, which I think is honestly a good thing. Um, I think it was a very good thing. They, uh, like, first year they taught us about infinity bias, and I was like, oh, this is a good lesson to teach people. Um, although it was a kind of a waste of time for me because I've done my research into it, but I'm glad it taught like some other people, which is quite nice. <laughs> you know, it's good social obligation kind of stuff. It was like, yeah, this is good. Although I feel like they should teach that in like <laughs> high school. <laughs> Why are they teaching this at like the university level? I should have, you know, known that concept beforehand, but whatever. I should be taught that concept beforehand, I mean, but yeah. Um, oh god, uh, what's your favorite horror movie? I guess Parasite, because it's a, it's just like a well-shot movie, um, and also I don't like horror, because I'm, I'm a scary guy, I'm a little scary guy, I'm, I get so afraid of everything, so, <laughs> I'm good without horror, I've just realized how diagonal this all is, yay, cool, we're gonna have to repaint it, cool, um, awesome, <laughs> so cool, so, so awesome. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm not a big horror fan because I'm, I'm don't like getting scared. <laughs> I'm more of a sci-fi fantasy kind of person, I guess. I know I'm boring. <laughs> uh, no offense, Kane. Wait, no kids or teens sound good to me. No offense, Kane. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> I'm almost twenty in like a couple months. It's fine. Um, no, but like I get that. I get that. I feel like age is different when it, you're young, though. Affinity bias is slightly more, I don't want to say justified, but uh, socially it's like, it's more accepted, I guess. If um, if you're like, oh, I don't want to associate with people younger than me. I mean, you should, you know, learn from people younger than you too, but obviously. I mean, uh, feeling comfortable around someone that's like way younger than you is very sub objective and very different because it's more of a life experience thing than a than an actual like bias i guess there's like a gap of um experience and like humor and you know mutual struggle that uh isn't seen in like a younger generation because i just haven't experienced it yet right so i hope that makes sense <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, we well, we don't uh know how old people are um are in here. Old people are in here. Wait, what? We don't know how old people are in here. Yeah, exactly. That's why I like the the we don't say our age in this channel rule because, well, I've been around Twitch right as like a teen as well. I was a teen when I first joined Twitch like as a viewer. And people were like, oh, this is an 18 plus chat. And I was like, I think that I am, I was misguided. And I was like, I think that I'm mature enough for an 18 plus chat. And I was, and people never knew. <laughs> people never knew and they followed me and they respected me. And, and whenever they talked about like 18 plus stuff, I just didn't chip in, you know, like a normal person. 
Um, and yeah, <laughs> I was just like, oh, I just, if they're talking about something 18 plus, I won't chip in here. So then they don't have like a weird thing about me, you know, and they don't have to confront me about it. But yeah, just, I don't know. Like, there's just a, there's just like understanding that needs to be had, I guess, within those two groups of like 18 and under 18s, you know? Um, because the thing is, I don't want to shape someone's humor. I, I don't think I'm funny. <laughs> I don't think I'm funny. And even if I do think I'm funny, I'm not like a good role model. Uh, I'm not a good, like, law abiding citizen. You know, I'm a, an average abiding citizen. That's about it. <laughs> That's all I have. I'm literally wor wearing a coat that was dubiously bought. It was bought with my money, but dubiously, you know? <laughs> um, often creepy. Yeah, this is, this is like a little creepy tension there, you know? The best horror is Jack in the Box. I see, I see. I've heard Skinamarink is really good, but um, for a different reason. I watched a Wendigoon video about it. By the way, apparently Wendigoon is um, not the greatest person, but also, I don't know. He doesn't have any politics in his actual, like, what's it called? Um videos themselves so i'm very conflicted about it but anyway um i watched in a wendigoon video about it and apparently it's really 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 horrifying uh but like not in a fun like ooh, i'm scared kind of way in a ooh, i'm sad kind of way <laughs> apparently it's really effective but you know i don't know much about it so has anybody watched it has anybody watched skin rink um yeah yeah occasionally he just says something iffy but i do enjoy his, enjoy his videos mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i that's the thing like i <laughs> real thank you <laughs> um, welcome in justy welcome in um to be honest i only have twitch because of you oh karis what the hell jesus christ you should follow some nice people there's some nice people on this uh, platform there's some really nice people but um but yeah that's really nice so sweet I, that's like the second time that's been someone's told me that that's really really like gratifying i should go back to doing tiktok stuff i was actually editing a tiktok video because i want to start doing tiktok again um it was really nice for discoverability and stuff and like people were finding my streams but now that i want to start like incorporating more of my stream stuff and more high production kind of things on my tiktok like tiktok does not like that <laughs> just doesn't just does not like that at all Which I guess is fair. Right, let's see. Um, uh, right, get rid of that. Then merge this down. I think this, uh, this, this panel is done. It looks pretty done to me, I think. Maybe I can add a little bit of shading to the... Ooh, hello. <laughs> Maybe I can add a little bit of shading to the frame, but that's about it. Like, I think this is pretty okay for me now. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. Okay. Yes. Do -do 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 -do. I think a little bit of shading goes quite a long way in this, actually. Uh, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, clowns tentacles. Ooh, hot. <laughs> thank you so much for the follow. Um, Pad creatively. Welcome in. How you doing? <laughs> Frog, you're the first person I followed because of uh, Rennie. Oh, I see. Um, because I watch you, your lives on TikTok when you do it, when you did do it. Yeah, I used to do lives a lot more, but just for like mental health reasons, I can't keep doing lives. Um, I can't keep going on there and hearing people call me rain whispers every three fucking seconds. <laughs> I don't mind it that much, but also like you spend your time on this platform and the only thing they say about you is like, hey, you look like a rain whispers. I'm like, I know, I know I look like rain whispers. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> I'm aware. I am fully aware. <laughs> you know? But yeah, it's um it's it's that and then random like there's so many trolls on TikToks and I cannot be bothered for it all the time. Like it's funny once in a while, but like after a while it's just it's just sad. It just gets really sad. Um not because of the the things they say it's just because like i'm like people believe this shit you know what i mean 
people like actually believe in the things that they're saying sometimes and uh, that just that just breaks me that makes me so sad <laughs> makes me so upset you know it would listen and it all said it in terms I surprise we found my words um kiki kardashian is it kardashian it is thank you so much for the follow welcome welcome, welcome stinky <laughs> oh my god is that the real kardashians oh my god it's the real kardashians uh i don't like that at all yikes let's go back i wonder if the kardashians which uh excuse me <laughs> i wonder if the kardashians watch twitch <laughs> like, like i wonder what mundane things the kardashians do right i guess there is a living with the kardashian shit right where they do like i don't know rich people shit but um but like what kind of mundane things do they do when they're not being filmed like do they watch do they sit down and watch video essays probably not video essays but do they like sit down and watch mr beast videos like <laughs> like do they what do they you know do they watch twitch do they watch random streamers do their kids watch streamers that's weird to me like that's not i guess that's not weird but it's just like it's unexpected <laughs> you know they do get stuck in youtube shorts loop oh yeah do the yeah do they, they do they doom scroll oh my god so true oh youtube short loop is actually so dangerous though <laughs> it's like tiktok but and tiktok and instagram reels had a worst baby um yeah damn oh god i hate people being mean uh though i've been a bully uh a bully since primary oh was you a bully before huh interesting I've never met someone that was like a bully before in their life. How do you feel about it now? Um, because I I talk to a lot of not bullies, I guess, but uh, I talk to a lot of people that I um, that used to bully me, right? Uh, and talk to them, and they never seem to be remorseful of anything they've done. Uh, I was wondering if you feel remorseful or anything about that. You know, amount amazing outfit by the way. Thank you, thank you. I look like Steve Urkel. Um, Soda, welcome in, and thank you for the canvas flip. Maybe you... Oh, do you know what? I kind of want to make this... This over to the left a bit. Thank you for making me flip the canvas. I wouldn't have noticed. It's that it's not on a third. Do anybody else? Oh, shit. Sorry. My... My camera. Ah. Uh, my best friend was a bully until um, the year before we met. She regrets it. Uh, but also, it's weird because I am the classic bully victim. So it was a miracle I was never bullied. Oh, interesting. Mm. I was um I was bullied for a lot of un uh, well I'm not gonna s okay racism <laughs> racism I was in a really white school so it wasn't you know it wasn't great but it's fine like now I look back on it I'm like ha 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 you're all not gonna get employed <laughs> it's funny because um you know when people are like oh uh I oh god there's like this weird room okay okay let me let me slow down and think um. When you're bullied in high school, right, the 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 bully E, the person that gets bullied, uh, the victim, always like has this kind of, oh, you're not gonna be successful in life kind of thing, right? As a it's kind of like their own retaliation to the bully, right? Is like their own little internal kind of retaliation. The thing is, that usually doesn't work because bullies are confident and can get jobs most of the time. But um and also, most of the time, have money or don't. They, I don't know. It depends. Well, the bullies are complicated, right? Um, but the thing is, because my area, there's not a lot of jobs, the bullies didn't get any jobs. And do I feel bad about it? No. Do I feel kind of happy that these assholes are struggling financially? Not really, but like kind of a little bit. <laughs> kind of just like a little bit. Uh, what? Wait, no. I've been bullied for some stupid reasons. Oh, really? <laughs> I was bullied with ableism. Uh, I was in form group and seen some seen some of the dumbest people. Mm. Oh yeah, I mean like ableism, yes, but also like not ableism because I didn't know I was neurodivergent, so like no one else did. You know what I mean? Um, I think I was pretty smart when it came to in uh, like social interactions, and I knew what to do pretty well. Um, so it never became like a a kind of issue of oh. You're, you, I mean, like, people did see me as the weird kid. Yeah, obviously. I mean, look at me. <laughs> uh, 
I'm a streamer. Um, uh, but you know, like, I I don't think it was uh it was ever quite an issue. They were like, oh, you're you're, you know, one of the tisms that we're gonna make fun of you, ha ha. You know, because I never really knew it myself. So like, I, no one else knew, I guess, right? Um, but yeah, I don't know. It, it's it's interesting. I got bullied for so many things. I got bullied for being gay before I was even gay. So <laughs> before I realized, and I was like, damn. I guess they I guess they're right. <laughs> they were like, you f slur, and I was like, I'm I'm not gay. I have a girlfriend, and then like, cut to years later, and <laughs> here I am. You know, uh, but you know, it's fun. It's not fun. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to say it's fun. I don't know why I said it's fun. It's not fun, but it is a learning curve, I think, you know? I think it's definitely a, a learning curve that I've gone over, and I'm not happy that I was bullied, but I'm happy that I wasn't a bully, so that's something. I could be proud of that. Um. Also, that bullshit about, like, don't start fights. Bullshit, start fights. <laughs> I don't regret it. I don't not regret. I don't know. I, I'll think about that in a second. Anyway, uh, Amy Tix, welcome in. How you doing? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Have high, excuse me, oh, sorry. I have high testosterone as a cis woman, and they used to call me Mustache Girl, but never to my face. They would ask for my friends, "Are you friends with Mustache Girl?" Oh, I see. You started fights. No, 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 no. Uh, I was always, I always had people start fights with me, but I never participated in a fight. Right. Um, the thing is, I convinced myself, I convinced myself, and to this day, by the way, I still think so, uh, that I could beat the fuck out of these kids. <laughs> I felt like I could have beat the fuck out of um, the, the people that were bullying me, but I was like, no, my morals, my moral high ground won't let me start a fight. And, you know, looking back, I don't think it was a bad thing. I don't think it was a good thing that I didn't start fights, and it wasn't a bad thing either. I do think it was just like completely neutral because it's like these kids were so eager and adamant to fight me all the time for no reason, by the way. I didn't ever say anything to them that was rude. Um, maybe after they called me a slur, you know, like, but it's the things of like, oh, don't fight, be the bigger person. But it's like, what is the bigger person? <laughs> what is the bigger person when I'm in high school and also these bullies are right here in front of me and they're not going to change in their life unless they get to beat the fuck up, you know? Like, it would have got me in trouble, yes. The only thing I think about in that situation is that it would have got me in trouble if I started, if I participated in a fight, right? Um, But still, I don't know. I don't know. One day, one day, one day I'll be mugged and I'll be able to show off my so cool fighting skills that I totally have, you know? <laughs> I can't wait to get mugged. <laughs> can't wait. They won't know what's hit them. It will be me. I hit them. Um, I'm not a violent person and I don't like violence. Uh, I generally think that the world, world problems could be solved without them. But Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sometimes I look back and I'm like, damn, I should have committed some violence. <laughs> I could have I could have had a cool high school I beat the bully story. I could have had that hero moment. I could have stood up to some author um some power that a person thinks they have over me, but it's like, no. That wouldn't have accomplished anything really. And honestly, I do want to know about all the home situations and home lives of these bullies now that I'm an adult and I realize how bullying kind of manifests itself, you know? Yeah, that's a whole different conversation. Um, lifelong dream, getting mugged. So true, though. <laughs> I think about it so often. I dream about it a lot. Um, people don't mature. They just become. They just become adults. Exactly. That's the thing. Like I. Th I think. I think with some people, and don't get me wrong. I do think this is a really, really shit thing to say. Um, but I am going to say it out loud regardless. That some people do need to be, forcibly educated on how to be a good person uh whether that be they get f beaten the fuck up right like they some people will never stop being bullies like even even their in their adult life like uh my friend actually has not moved like town from when they took um 
oh my god sorry let me rephrase this uh slime rat uh slime rat may or may not n now oh no wait slime rat had a job in the town that i went to high school with right and they my one of my bullies um was working with slime and they were an asshole still as a, an adult still an asshole in the workplace so i was thinking like if i if i just fucking beat the shit out of this man and be like change you're a horrible person you know like i wonder if he would have become a better person I wonder if he would have gotten, like, more friends out of it. I wonder if he would have gotten, like, a different friend group, went down a different pipeline, started posting not right-wing bullshit about, like, vegan meat is horrible for you or some shit like that. You know, like, I, I wonder if that would have ever caused any, like, positive change in their life. Yeah. I went on Reddit rabbit hole and the other day, and I don't think I've I've ever felt like punching someone as much as I did reading those uh, Atia tweets. Uh, uh, Atia post? Sorry, I can't speak, but yeah, something like that. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, am I the asshole? That's what it... Yeah, right. I, I didn't know what that meant at first. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, some people need um, life to hit them really hard to change their ways. And that isn't to say that I haven't been really... Actually, do you know what? I think... I think most people start off as bullies automatically um, in their lifetime, right? Not everyone, obviously, but most people will start off with their life as a bully. I think looking back on my like interactions and how I treated my friends, I wasn't a bully, but I wasn't a very nice person. Um, however, I think the way I treated people in my life came from a lot of insecurities and other like thoughts and things that were coming through my head, right? Um, and as a kid, you know, you're a kid, you, you do that, you, you're like that, right? Uh, but that being said, life hit me pretty fucking hard when I was like, oh my God, you're gay. And I was like, oh my God, I'm gay. And then life was like, yeah, you're gay. And I was like, oh. <laughs> life hit me hard then, right? Because then it, this didn't become a question of like, Oh, I, I'm insecure. It is a question of, oh, I need to survive, you know? Um, I need to learn if I'm safe here, right? So I think the reason why um, the LGBT community or neurodivergent communities or, you know, like overall, like uh, a lot of ethnic minorities are nicer overall. I'm going to say this very, very generally, very, very generally. Um, or at least in my experience, they're quite nicer than the general population is because they've been born into a world that hit them really hard from the beginning. Um, so they had to learn and adapt and, and, you know, educate themselves, I guess, if that makes any sense. Do you guys agree with me on that? Um, that's, that's a huge sweeping generalization. And that isn't to say that people in their own communities, like that, act differently or you know what i mean but uh yeah i don't know the beat of the drums like constellations a million years away. I don't know. Changing as a person is a very complicated topic. Um, I feel like there's so much to learn still in my life. Like, I, I, I think everyone kind of goes through this um, weird kind of little crisis of, oh my god, I'm an adult, but I am still a child, right? Um, realizing that is, like, one of the... The most crushing feelings, I feel like, you're like, oh, I'm an adult now. And then you try and act like an adult. And then you're like, oh, I am still nothing more than just like a big child, right? Uh, it's like a, it's a real crushing kind of revolution that people have. And one that I've had like, <laughs> about like once every year. I, <laughs> I have it like, no, not even once every year, like once every month. <laughs> I can't lie. <laughs> you know, um... And it's weird. It's it's a weird kind of feeling. It's a weird feeling to be like, oh, I am underprepared for everything that's in front of me. And it's a uh, it's 
I don't know. I feel like a lot of people don't have to get to that realization or aren't aware enough to get to that realization. And that's what causes them to be bullies. Holy shit. Hey. <laughs> Melanie, welcome in. We're working on my graphic novel right now. Uh, here's a panel from it. Um, that's actually finished. <laughs> it's about a girl that gets burnt in a house. Woo! <laughs> Raise the roof. Um, but anyway, welcome in, Melanie, um, and welcome into the pond, everybody. Uh, my name is Kane. I go by Frog. Uh, I use he, they pronouns. Um, and today I look like Steve Urkel uh, fell into a vat of liquid acid and came out gayer. Um, my chain is stuck to my chair. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Yeah, look at me. I got suspenders and a bow tie. I'm like Steve Urkel, but um, but the Joker came along and yassified him. Like Steve Urkel, but he fell into the pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. You know? Like Steve Urkel, but he went on RuPaul's Drag Race. Like... <laughs> That's me. That's me for real. Um, but yeah, can I just say, Melanie, if you have any artwork that you would like to share today, I saw that you were doing some stuff on stream, so if you want to put that in chat, please go ahead. Links are always allowed. And um, I guess I'll show the Raiders my artwork. Hello, my name is Frog. You saw this piece of artwork on Melanie's stream earlier. Um, and I do stuff. I do digital painting. I sometimes do traditional painting too. Um, very rarely. Because watercolors are expensive. <laughs> that's about it uh i like to go for a traditional kind of painting with my artwork and if you like to learn more about my process and more about art like this then uh i do a lot of tutorial stuff and a lot of art education um and art well-being kind of things um along with being the coziest chaoticististist community is that a word chaoticist Cha most chaotic most chaotic is most chaotic isn't it anyway um <laughs> Uh, Steve Urkel has Riz. Oh, <laughs> I know if I like that. I know if I like that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but yeah. Oh my god. Uh, we were talking about, by the way, um, bully bullies as uh being a young person and like bullies in our past and how we changed and and stuff like that. So I'm gonna scroll up quickly and have a read of chat. Um. <laughs> Oh my god, I saw a picture of my bully with her kid, and I was like, that kid looks way too sweet to have such a bitchy mom. <laughs> um, in some cases, um, violence uh, like that will just have to send them further to the other end. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, let me catch up the raiders for this, by the way. Um, oh, and sorry, can I just quickly put in this link? Hey guys, if you're raiders, can you please click this link? We're trying to go for a partner push, it would really, really help. You can either click the link or click on my profile picture. That's okay, thank you. Anyway. Um, we're talking about, like, if retaliating against your bully in high school is actually a good thing or not. Because I never, I got into a lot of fights where I weren't fighting, <laughs> if you get what I mean. Where people are trying to fight me or really trying to start fights, but I never fell back. Uh, because my, my parents were very, don't do fights. And I was like, okay. <laughs> they were very, take the moral high ground. And I look back at those cases and I'm like, I wonder if the person would have changed if I was like, I beat them up. And I was like, change, you're a horrible person, you know what I mean? I never thought about it. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're talking about now. Uh, Jesse says, in some cases, violence like that will just send them the other way. Um, they'll use that instance of, see, those people are horrible and deserve bad treatment. I also agree with that, yeah. Retaliating, the thing is, if you don't stand your ground, then these bullies are going to see you as, oh, this person is weak and they're weak, so I'm powerful and better and I can take advantage of them more often. If you stand your ground too hard, then you'll be like, that person, then they'll see you as that person as an asshole and they deserved bad treatment, right? So it's it's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I feel like it's just being firm and assured with yourself and confident is probably the best way, but like, as a high schooler, you are none of those things. <laughs> you know, honestly, what a four-year-old I, um, I knew early when I was gray, uh, had an intricate instinct to keep his massive secret because, uh, wait, 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 wait. I, I didn't understand that sentence. Wait, wait, wait. What four-year-old I knew early, um, I was gay, oh, has an intricate instinct to, to keep the, the massive secret safe because, um, that's fair. That's fair. To keep that... Okay, we were talking about also being LGBT as a kid as well and how that kind of um, meant that a lot of people with those backgrounds of LGBT oppressed and minorities, you know, etc, etc. 
they turn out not to be bullies because they've had that resistance from the world put onto them. They've gotten that kick to be like, you need to improve. You get what I mean? But yeah. Um, okay, let me just... Look at Melanie's artwork. This is so cute. What was this for? This is the start of the detail this in your style. Oh, interesting. Detail this in your style. That's so interesting. So, oh, wait, wait. So you put down these shapes and then someone else details over them. That's so cool. That's so, so cool. Um, oh my God. I could see these as many, many things, actually. The circles, I, they could be anything. They could be anything. This is so cool. Mm. Guys, go check out Melanie. Um, maybe this is not the, the best example of Melanie's work, but Melanie's work is so pretty. It's so, so beautiful. Um, it's so intricate and like the patterning is so loose, but fluid and it's, oh, it's beautiful. Stuff I want on tote bags. <laughs> Stuff I want on cushions and pillows and my curtains kind of, kind of vibe. It's really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, Melanie, if you ever release a scarf line, save me one, would you? <laughs> you know? Uh, I prefer to stand uh, stand up with for yourself with other people who have your back. Um, it doesn't need to be aggressive, just a sole voice of knock the fuck off. Yeah, exactly. In my that's kind of how I approached it as a kid too, and I think I think it was fine. Um, although I look back on it, and I'm like I re I harbored so much resentment as a kid <laughs> for these people that were bullying me all the time. Right? Um, I was like, oh, I I, I wish they would die wait, 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 wait. because like I'm a kid and I'm edgy, you know, but and I watch Naruto. And I... <laughs> but, you know, like, I think it, it was probably the best approach was just stand up for myself, be less of an asshole person, you know. But anyway, um, hey, sorry, I'm late. Um, was I I was in Mount Parents with the mall. Oh, I see you're at Mount Parents. <laughs> Can I see the outfit? Sure, sure. I look like Steve Urkel. Um, I'm trying to think of more Steve Urkel jokes. Uh, I look like uh, Steve Urkel took a textiles class. I look like Steve Urkel walked into Christmas and came out with me more desaturated. I'm like Steve Urkel, but he got branded by famous streamer Frog Glasses Art. I don't even have the word art in the name anymore. <laughs> it's just Frog Glasses. You know? My dad grew up with... Um... Oh, sorry. One second. <laughs> My dad grew up Catholic uh, in the Troubles, so he always raised me with a, if someone hits you, you hit them back harder. <laughs> Which I could uh, never tell how much he was joking. Luckily, it never came to that, Lamau. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn. I guess that's the eye for an eye thing. I was thinking about that. I was like, isn't it, isn't it supposed to be like, love thy neighbor? <laughs> Forgive. And I, I don't know much about Catholicism, I guess, but you know. Um, I always thought it was very love my neighbor, not eye for an eye, leg for a leg, half for a soul, something like that, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, you know what I'm trying to reference, that one mother mother song, just remember, just, just, just trust me. Yeah, yeah, in the simplest form, yeah, that, but also it's really hard to be that as a kid um it's also really hard to be like it's there's a very big double standard of the hey the the world is okay be yourself but also you i can't <laughs> as a um as a queer British Chinese little guy who grew up in Wales like the whitest part of the UK right um, it, it was very much a, oh, you should, you should be proud and be yourself, right? But it was, everyone else was telling me, don't be yourself. You're, you're disgusting. You're horrible. You're, you're so gross. You're so cringe, right? But now that I'm an adult, I realize, yeah, actually be yourself, but like, be yourself and don't care what other people think for real, <laughs> like for really don't care about what people think. Um, and that is the one biggest, like tip i guess i would give to anyone that is like super young i although super young people get out of my chat 18 plus <laughs> but you know if i was to go back to my like little self i would be like okay be more cringe <laughs> like seriously be more cringe be literally be more cringe you're you're not cringe enough you're not interesting enough be more cringe <laughs> you know but yeah um i guess you can pick when um when that applies yeah true um 
someone wait 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 what snowflake i'm trying to read that sentence i don't know if i want to read this out loud <laughs> damn okay yeah <laughs> i got a new book it's called Giseto by osumi dazai oh interesting what's the book about I'm always looking for book recommendations, besides not reading in such a long time. <laughs> Attention. I feel like it's um a universal struggle that everyone's like, oh, I want to read more. And then they just don't. <laughs> I feel like no one realistically reads more, which is kind of sad. Um, besides like one or two, three, one or two people that like really enjoy reading, you know, so they kind of thing. I know my friend actually. Um, that does read. I do have a friend that reads like consistently all the time. Um, and they were like, yeah, I want to be a writer. But then also I know that they're an urban city planner and I'm like, wait a minute, what the, what the heck? And they were like, yeah, I need it. I need money. I was like, <laughs> I was like damn, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> In an ideal world, I would be a fully, um, independent artist that makes my own shit, makes my own content, works on my own hours. But, um, also, I want uh, a job and money and, you know, stability. So, <laughs> so I need to do those things first. <laughs> and that's, that's kind of my, that's kind of my philosophy. So right now I'm in university so I can achieve my dreams of being a graphic designer. And then once that is all achieved, I can do my other dreams of being kind of independent by going semi like semi-freelance i guess <laughs> semi-freelance i still want a like a stable job that's my part because the thing about content creation is that it's always changing and it's always morphing and one day you could be like the best thing and the other day you can be like the worst right um whether it's like the algorithm fault or whatever viewer retention rates or whatever right so i don't want to go full social media influencer get loads of money now kind of thing because that's just gonna ruin me i think <laughs> i don't think it's sustainable in the long term either um oh my god independent living within uh within an art career seems daunting at times at least with a minimal soul uh soul selling yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that's, we were talking about this yesterday, actually, about the soul selling part. Um, if I got an, a, a sponsorship by Adobe, like I publicly hate Adobe, but I do use it for my job, but I publicly hate it. Um, hello, everyone. Hi, Thirsty, how are you doing? <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, like if I did get a, a sponsorship offer by Adobe, I probably would take it. I would probably take it despite my audience knowing that I hate Adobe and don't believe in it. One, because, like, it's the money that I get from a company that I don't like. And also, I do use the product. I think they're good products. It's just I don't, like, agree with their business practices. <laughs> but they're a good company. That's the thing. I hate that they're a good company. I wish they were worse so I could make more memes about them or something. I don't know. <laughs> they're actually a good company and treat their workers with respect. And also, like, yeah, they're they're fine. They're a good company. But it's it's sad. I want them to be worse. Be worse, you know? Be worse so I can make fun of you more. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, oh god, this page is gonna kill me. I don't know why this page, just color wise, is just like eating me up, <laughs> eating the asshole of me, if you will. You know, There's something about it. Just, I cannot. Stand these colors. <laughs> right. Um, I'm listening to the Blizzard OST, uh, Lego Battles for D DS soundtrack, Mars mission theme. That's so specific. Thank you very much. Any type of freelancing seems daunting. My mother um, does freelancing. So my mother was a freelance makeup artist for films. Uh, she's worked on films like BBC Casualty. She's worked on um, the, a lot of different movies and stuff like that. Yet she seems to never have work. Um, and like the actual, the actual going freelance for her was so hard that she was just like, I'm going to go to a Chinese supermarket. And, and I mean, a Chinese restaurant and work there. And she gets like way more money. 
<laughs> from just like working at a at a restaurant. So it's like, oh, I guess you know. I guess really, if you want your life goals to fully succeed, you're gonna have to for a while deal with a little bit of struggle and pushback from the world, which is kind of sad, but you know, kind of expected, right? The realistic, the realistic answer to can you be a freelance person in any creative industry is yes, but also it's going to take you a while to get good and paid and be stable, I guess. And that's so daunting. That is so daunting for, for a lot. I would, um, I would probably not go full freelance for quite a while in my life, you know? I am still yet to get my foot in the door industry-wise. So I'm going to work on that first. <laughs> I have noticed that people quite, as, as a freelancer, actually, people respect you way more if you have gotten your foot through the door somehow, one way or another, whether it be a connection to random game place or whatever, whatever. Like, I've seen so many social media influencers, um, social, social media artists, sorry, that um, they have huge amount of followings and they don't post consistently. They don't post on a schedule. Their art is just about as good as any other like concept artist, maybe even worse. Right. But the thing is, they've worked for like a good company and people see that they've worked for like X company in their bio and they follow immediately and they like their posts. And, the, you know, it's just like, damn, all you need to know about someone is that they work for Blizzard like once and then you're instantly following. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. I guess. I'm very excited for my progression as an artist, actually. I want to improve and be one of those people that have like thousands of followers on Instagram for like posting absolute bullshit. <laughs> I want to be one of those people, you know? I guess freelancing means a bit more creative freedom. Yeah, exactly. It just means freedom. That's that's the only thing about freelancers that that you get freedom over your time and stuff. So you can do whatever you want, right? Within reason. Um but of course that's kind of hard. <laughs> it's kind of hard to sustain that. Make the rules up as I go. All the same, I think we're playing in this game, and we never given it a name. They'll just call it friends or foe. Oh, God. Oh, bye. I'll see you later, Soren. Have you compared to your work from a few years ago now? Because you have developed so many skills. Very impressive. I, I don't compare it often, but I I look at my work, um, my work from like now. Like if I look at this now and then I look at just like one year ago, <laughs> just the the absolute progression of rendering is incredible. Like I look at this. What, what was this, 2020? 220? Yeah, this is 2023 now, so this is three years. Like, if I look at this, right, like, the shading, this whole kind of thing, that one's good. I'm not going to look at that one. That one's fine. <laughs> if I look at this, for example, you know, just, like, all of this, I'm just like, this is all fine. And then I look at the stuff I'm doing now, and I'm just like, this is incredible in comparison. It's like a different person. It's, it's, it is interesting to see my progression. So, oh, oh no, me, oh, Cyrus is leaving. Oh, sorry, Cyrus, I'll see you later. Thank you so much for coming in. Sorry. I said bizarre instead of blizzard. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, the cover of the book is so pretty. Oh? Uh, the, book about a, uh, the book about a Japanese girl who does finds everything she does not good enough for other mental illness. Oh, another mental illness. Oh, see. I see. Interesting. Sorry, I read that really weirdly, but yeah. <laughs> um, Interesting. Your own voice has gotten so loud, which is excellent. I, I have seen that, yes. I've, I've noticed that my um my creative voice and my style has it developed into something that I'm proud of and I've put in my work. You know, <laughs> can I tell you something I've put in my work recently? Uh, this is in my professional, uh, my professional portfolio, right? And I just want to show you something if, it, if I actually have a picture of it. Yes. So right here behind the signature, I'm going to bring up the piece for a second right now. 
Um, as a joke, when I was streaming this piece, someone said, oh, put an Among Us in the hair. Put, put, put an Among Us in this piece. And I was like, fine, I'll put an Among Us in this piece. So right, right here... Right here, you can see a very faint Among Us like outline, <laughs> and that's in my that's in my professional portfolio. <laughs> but I recently made a reel about this piece and showing and like highlighting the little Among Us in it, um, just as a little funny nod, right? A little funny, funny nod. Um, I really hope my employer never fucking sees that. I'll die on the spot if they see that. You know, I'll I'll perish. I'll perish and die on the spot if they see that. So you know, I hope, I hope <laughs> they don't check out my Insta. I've noticed something about my artwork that um that I kind of I resent in a in a in a very weird way I resent it and I love it right? My work looks incredibly, undeniably queer, right? And you might be like, whoa, 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 he resents that? That's kind of, that's kind of bad. Wait, let me explain. Um, I have a, a weird little theory about the queer art style that I'm going to make a video about, but, <laughs> but really, like, my, my work looks a little amateur from time to time, right? And I want to, I want to make it look less amateur, but it's, it's impossible to make my artwork look queer, which I like. I like it to look queer. I like it to look, to look, you know, like I have a voice, like I have a personality in my artwork. I want it. I want that to shine through, right? However, a lot of the established queer art style stuff isn't normally really accepted in like concept art and stuff like that backgrounds, right? So for example, let me take the example of um, color theory, right? Um, in color theory, you wouldn't technically use colors that are both this saturated. Let me show you. So if we look on the color wheel, this color, this color is like right at the edge, basically of saturation. This one too is like right at the edge. Most people would like be like, that's bad. Don't do that. That's not with concept art rules, right? If I look at my, my, um, that piece I just showed, actually, you can see somewhere in here, there's like colors like this, where it's like this random gray that's completely a different saturation from everything else. And then this one is like full balls to the wall to all the way to the edge saturation. And people would usually be like, don't do that. That's bad. You know, this pink, I could see a concept artist being like, this is bad. Um, but my art doesn't look interesting with it. You know, as soon as I take away the one part of my artwork that looks queer, that has a personality, that has a voice to it, my art just looks like anyone else's art, which is weird. Because I realized that if I'm going to have a job in, this is a really sad song. <laughs> this song is so like melancholic. Anyway, um, <laughs> if I'm going to have a job in industry, um, I need to somewhat appeal to industry people, right? Um, that's just like how I'm going to get a job. But then also if I appeal to industry, then I don't appeal to myself and I don't appeal to an audience, right? So I'm really banking on the fact that, um, people will see my art and be like, Ooh, this can attract an audience that we really want to attract. Otherwise, I don't think I'm going to get hired <laughs> in full honesty. I know that's a really weird, like, kind of double standard to put on myself to be like, oh, I really like this part of my artwork, but also no one likes this part of my artwork or no one will accept this part of my artwork. It's, um, it's a weird little standard I've put on myself, but, um, I'm hoping that it'll be accepted, I guess. I just need to be accepted into the right place. I just need to find the right place, which might take a bit more time. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Um, we need a section of stream where you where you're like smash your past our art styles and it's just queer or hetero. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, guys! If you did that, I would totally love to do a, a video like um to clip that and put that in a YouTube video. That would be really good. <laughs> mm. I worry about the same thing. I was th talking about this with my mum just now. Oh, really? Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I think um, 
it's, it's the same thing with like anime art styles and being in school, right? Like schools usually don't like anime art styles or on the whole, at least don't like the anime kind of art style. But it's completely acceptable um, form of art, right? It's aesthetically pleasing. There's nothing wrong with it. And atomically, yeah, it's kind of like, oh, atomically, that's kind of iffy. But, you know, it's stylized. Yeah, it, it, it has a goal in mind and it's achieving it. However, people just don't, for some reason, accept this goal in like academic or in in professional settings, right? So it becomes this weird little conflict within yourself of do I appeal to a mass that I'm going to need to appeal to, to succeed in life? Or do I appeal to myself and an audience that wants to see it and go with that, you know? I don't know. It's a, it's a weird little standard that I, I've been thinking about recently. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum. Because, like, I, I look at a lot of, like, the Tumblr art style, right? And I'm like, a lot of this is looks very much the same. But it, great, it garners such a big, powerful community on that platform that I'm like, people obviously want to see this kind of art in their daily life. And yet they're deprived of it, right? Anywhere besides social media, the world of the internet, right? Um, and it's... And I'm thinking if companies did start adopting this kind of art style into their normal corporate workflow do you think it would be accepted like do you genuinely think if google started putting out some anime kind of art style do you think that would be accepted do you think people would actually be like this is cringe or do you think people would be like this is amazing i love this you know because i feel like google specifically with its um with its you know like it has that thing where where there's a holiday they'll like make a little custom piece of artwork if they just put like a random anime in there i don't think anyone would be against it I have a feeling it would be really well received, but Google's just not go diving into that, like that prospect. You know what I mean? Netflix has been adding anime steadily. It seems really popular. It is as well. That's the thing. Um, animation has been so, so scrutinized, sadly, by studios because of just the time it takes to make it and the budget it takes and they don't see it as profitable. Right. But it is so, it's so profitable. Um, Vortex, welcome in. <laughs> I want to go. Mm, 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 mm. Vortex uh, King, welcome in, welcome, welcome. We're just talking about uh, the queer art style and seeing how like the the outside world is gonna perceive that, I guess. Because my art style is very queer usually when I'm not drawing something for a book. <laughs> so um, so we were thinking about like how jobs and employers and in school settings or whatever would it, would kind of accept this and see it. Um, and we're thinking and little doing some little theorizing on that. Uh, but welcome in, welcome, welcome. Uh, right now I'm drawing a page for my graphic novel. This is a project for uni. Um, I can show you one of the pages that were done already. This is one of them. This is one of my favorite panels. I love this panel at the top here. It's really good. Uh, Frog, can I sew Vortex? Of course. Yeah, do it. They, they rated. <laughs> oh my God. Um, uh, <laughs> Vortex, do you have anything you would like to show us, by the way? Any, uh, any artwork or anything like that, et cetera, et cetera. Um, Vortex, do I know you? I feel like I know you. <laughs> oh, I'm blind. You are blind. You are blind, in fact. You cannot see, Wimser. I've covered your eyes. Uh, <laughs> let me let me go back in the chat right now. Um, sorry, I'm saying um a lot. It's been two hours since I was here. My family was going to eat, uh, out, eat out. Oh, I see. Interesting. I'm not sure if it was acceptable, but it would make people's day funnier. That would be funny. That would be really funny. <laughs> my god artwork yeah i can show you some of my art yeah uh this one was of titans in nation oh i see interesting Ooh, ooh. oh my god wait let me show you some of my nations art that i did um i've been kind of out of nations just because of like uni stuff has stopped me from uh you know enjoying my life <laughs> but i'll show you some of the nation stuff i did this is one of the pieces i did for nations um it's called gaslight it was a youtube thumbnail for that one cutscene i did which was sick <laughs> I was one of the Titans. <gasps> was. <laughs> I was one of Fionn's and one of the Kraken's Creeks people. But yeah, there's another piece I did for it. Um, there should be a few more. Oh, this one. This I actually put in my portfolio. <laughs> I actually really like this piece still. I put this in my professional portfolio. Um, although I really think this type choice was a fucking poor choice of type. Like, look at that. That's, that's, that's gross. But whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Your style is so clean. I mean, I don't know about that. I don't know about clean, but I appreciate it though. 
I mean, like, sometimes it's clean. Like, I would say this is, like, a pretty clean kind of looking artwork, but, uh, but what is, what's another piece like, like, uh, but, but, but this? Like, way less clean, I think. It's just, like, rendered, I guess. <laughs> Worst, welcome in, how you doing? So nice see ya. You couldn't try. Oh, do you ever get that random jolt of, like, electric in your ass? Because I just got that. <laughs> you ever get, like, a muscle cramp and you're just like, ooh. <laughs> that was just me. I just fucking jolted my, it was just in my ass cheek. <laughs> oh, sorry, TMI, TMI, but, um, <laughs> it's funny. Oh, my gosh. Just because I want to be... Call it quits, call it destiny. Cause it won't come easily. Doesn't mean we shouldn't try. Try, try, just because it won't come easily. Doesn't mean you shouldn't try. Okay, um, I'm gonna add this blue into the creases. I was thinking about what should I do for the shadow color. I'll just add it as blue. I think that would be a smart idea. Look away from afar. Does that look weird? Kind of looks weird. Maybe we can go for like an in-between color, maybe. I oh, like this purple. That would be nice. Yeah, that looks good. Um, anyway. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. let me see. Oh, yeah, by the way, Vortex, um, Vortex King. Uh, links are always allowed in chat, of course. <laughs> and thank you for the rain, Peach. Welcome in. I posted two pictures of me and my sister. It's like a pit crew. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, cheese. Okie dokie. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I forgot to mention that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you shouldn't try. But yeah, I hope your stream went well. I hope you did a. You did some good artwork. <laughs> I hope you did the good artworks. I don't know what accent this is, but it's one of them. It's one of them. Someone's accent. Someone talks like this in real life. Just you wait. They'll find you. They'll be behind you. <laughs> my uh, my kind of humor has gotten a lot faster recently. I don't know why. I think it's because of the raw random videos. <laughs> I'm obsessed with that YouTuber. I can't lie. <laughs> I'm obsessed with her. Huh? That is not correct. It's obviously for you. Dumb shit. <laughs> yeah, one plus one equals four. Are you, are you, what are you, like preschool math? Jesus, come on. Come on, what is this? Shh. Equals three. Go back to school. <laughs> you look, you look so dumb right now. Oh yeah, I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, 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 for real, for real. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Boo -doo -doo, boo -doo 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 -doo. You're so real for that worst. <laughs> oh, can I hear Fortnite noises coming from my, my flatmate's room? I feel like I can. <laughs> I can hear the noise of Fortnite. Just like, whoa. <laughs> you just hear like a, a random yo. And I'm like, oh, they're totally playing Fortnite right now. Um, damn. Here we go. Uh, how am I going to separate these arms out? I feel like it needs to be like a highlight. Oh, I do have a highlight color, but the blue, I'm dumb. There we go. Highlight color right there. Separates the arms out a little bit more. Do this. Well, cool. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, no egg puns. No egg puns. You used like the three good ones as well. If you used one egg pun, I would have like came back to you with a, a more exuberant pun. But you know, instead I don't have any. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, I I think you've got me fried this time. Uh, but <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's no more. No more. Um, I've exhausted my uh my egg pun resources. You know, I could just say any E-G word, any E-X word, uh, but that wouldn't be very creative, would it? 
You thought I was going to do an egg pun. You thought I was going to do one, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. <laughs> you thought he was going to do another egg pun there, but no, no, I got you. A little time. <laughs> Just a little hum. Just a little time. Well, that was... An... Wait. Well, this is the egg. This is the egg? For real. Sure. <laughs> Wow, did you did I did I subvert your expectations? <laughs> okay. Um um nice thing. Thank you. Just a little time. Just a little something. Just a little time. Just a little lightning mm, speed and enough going, 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 sewing somewhere else, being, being. Being human. Let's see. I think this is um. Is this guy rendered? I feel like he's kind of not rendered. Hmm. I'm feeling vibes, un unholy vibes coming from this blue shadow. It kind of looks like it's the the background. So I don't know. It's kind of registering like a hole in the arm. To scholar affair. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Remember me, remember me to one who lives there. <laughs> she once was a true love of mine. Um, I think this is look. He looks fine. This this guy looks fine. Maybe I can add a little bit more highlights to it. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. God, you go singing. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you go singing. It's my nickname. My whole name is singing. Yeah, it's my it's my middle name. You know two of my names now. It's Kane and singing. That's what the S means. Um, no, just kidding. My name is Kane KST. That's my initials. Uh, it stands for Kane Sexy Titties, as we all know. Um, so, you know, no use debating it. No use trying to find it out. It's just Kane Sexy Titties. I think there's only like one image of me that for some reason comes up, like when you search up my actual real name. And it comes from fucking, like, Google Images for some reason? Like, Google Maps? I don't know why. I don't know who took the picture. But it's, like, it's it's me in my house. But it comes up on Google Maps. And I don't understand. <laughs> to this day, I'm still really confused about it. Like, <laughs> no one un uploaded this picture anywhere. Which means it must have gone uploaded to, like, a Google Drive. And then, like, Google Maps registered that as being a an image of me? I don't understand. It's weird. It's really, really weird. <laughs> I think about it a lot, actually. <laughs> I didn't think about how much I thought about that, but I think it's about I think about that image a lot. A random ass Google image that is just me in my house. Weird, weird like concept. You know. You going to Scarborough Fair? Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Oh my god. Um, that pun is puntastic. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> that was a bad one. That was horrible. What? That's so creepy, right? That's scary. It's weird. Speaking of puns, I had a good one yesterday. Not an egg one. A VTuber was talking about doing kicks. So someone goes, you're doing side kicks. Can I be one? Oh, oh, you want to get fucked. That's what the, oh, 
<laughs> I kill you. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to follow. Welcome, welcome, Stinky. Um, why is it blurred? Why is it blurred? Why is what blurred? Wait, huh? I'm confused. I see. I see. Do wait a minute. I think I left my conscience on your front doorstep. Ooh, wait a minute. Fixed dimension. <laughs> but I'm here right now. Why is the picture of you blurred? It may not, uh, it may not sue Google. Is the picture of you blurred? If not, you may sue Google. No, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, okay, it's really specific. It's like the cartoon filter on a 2012 iPad. It's like, it's, uh, it's, oh my God. You know, in photo booth, right? Um, in the like Apple photo booth, there's like a, there's like those weird filters and stuff. Um, by the way, I'm kidding. Welcome to chat. Um, so there's like the weird cartoon filters. There's one of me. Like it's, it's not even me as like a, like now it's me as a child. Like me as like a 12 year old. I can tell from the, the shirt that I'm kind of wearing in that, sh in that image, but you can't really see my face. It's weird. I don't know. <laughs> It's so strange. And I read those pages. You really love me, baby. <sighs> Some things I heard. Mm. Oh, hello. Uh, hello there, fellow frog. Welcome in, frog person. How you doing? <laughs> How's your day been? Um, we're just rendering this thing for my book right now. Um, I'm really liking this, the, the shapes I've produced in this, uh, this coat, actually. It's kind of, doesn't look like the rest of my paintings, though, so I might need to reconsider. Let's go get it. Uh, uh. Some just try to say goodbye. Some people might get hurt. Mm. <laughs> it's my favorite part of that entire song. The uh, wait a minute. Feel my heart attention. No, oh, hold on, wait a minute. Consciousness. Did you know she's in this song, Wait a Minute by Willow? She sings um one of the lines in Navi from the Avatar movie. Um, I found that out recently, and I was like, damn, I never realized. <laughs> she says it so like uh, so fluidly that i thought it was just like a some random um some other foreign language i didn't know but it, apparently it's navi from the avatar movie which i just never knew fun little fact uh the drawing is very brushed up haha <laughs> that was bad <laughs> that was really bad that was that was that was horrible <laughs> that was <laughs> No oh, god. I don't think you're choked up to be this, you know? I don't think I don't think um I don't think you've 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 been choked up to to do jokes like this. I don't know. I feel like I feel like you need to let your jokes uh sit and render for a while. I I, I know. No no <laughs> brushed up. That was so something mine aren't better my jokes aren't better uh my retaliation puns are trash but yeah uh very nice hair and style thank you and oh art style thank you <laughs> um unless not rendered useless okay that one's okay that one was good that was good fine rendered useless that's that's a good one that one's a good one i'll give you that one you get one you get one joke <laughs> one joke per stream <laughs> And don't worry, guys, I'll save you from the jokes, don't worry. Um, we only get one in the stream, you know? In this stream, there will be absolutely no jokes. <laughs> None. No funnies, besides now. This is, this is the last funny. We've exhausted them. Our funny depletions are going down. Mm -hmm. Kidding, I try, I try and be funny on stream. <laughs> I try. Sometimes. See, the thing is, being funny is not my responsibility. It's actually your responsibility. <laughs> I 
because I can't be funny on a whims, but you guys can. So you guys gotta, you gotta bring your funny. You gotta bring your A game, your frog game. I'm just the guy. I'm just the guy that renders and does art. Um, by the way, Achillean, I go live every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday, just saying, uh, 6 p.m. till 9 p.m. GMT. So I hope uh, you can catch me in the next stream as well, because this stream is not far from ending. We're going to end not soon, but, you know, not, not, not soon, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so, you know, just want to tell you now. But do, 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 do. Why are so cute? They're just, they're just little guys. My chat is just full of little guys. Little guys slash non-binaries slash not guys. <laughs> What's the word? Women. Thank you. <laughs> it's just full of all the genders. All of them, actually. And all the not genders, too. A lot of those. <laughs> A lot of those. I'm one of those. <laughs> Mm hmm. Guys, can I ask you a question? I have to make a really, really serious big decision in my life right now. I'm not gonna do it live on the stream. That would be weird. Um it today or two. Um so I want to ask you guys something. Should I make this decision today or tomorrow? This could like affect a lot. So I just wanted to, just wanted to, it, I'm not going to tell you what the decision is either, but um, just know that it's a, it's a decision. <laughs> it's a pretty big one. So I'm just going to give you that poll and you guys can decide for me. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh. Oh God. Ah, uh, yes. For, you forgot women slowly fades away. No! <laughs> Misogyny! Oh shit. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Is rendered, is finished. Am I finished with this? Um. I think I'm finished with this. That is such a nice fireman suit outfit. <laughs> That's such a needlessly nicely rendered fireman outfit. God damn it. That's so upsetting. <laughs> No one's going to care when they read this book. They're going to look at this and they're going to be like, well, that fireman suit isn't very well, is very well rendered. Anyway, moving on, you know, can't wait. I can't wait. Why did you make the money not blue? What? <laughs> what? I'm confused by this. My color has had a fucking field day while I'm doing this. Oh my gosh. Um, there is a set color for this person's thing. Why don't we just use that? Mm -hmm. Oh my. Uh, I think this can be way more purple, actually. Oh yeah. Well, blue, I guess, would work too. Um, right. Be -do -do. I think this is look fine. <laughs> I think this looks fine. Sorry, I'm kind of spacing out right now. I'm thinking very hard about this drawing. Um, is this some '80s movie soundtrack music? Uh, it's plant. It's Plantasia. It's like. Which is like Fantasia, but with plants. It's music for plants, made by plants for plants, or something like that. 
Oh my god, making a lemon and ginger tea, that sounds good as hell. Tomorrow? Oh shit, okay. Okay. What was the other- Oh, no one voted for today? Damn. Damn, guys. <laughs> okay. Interesting. I'll make it tomorrow then. Doom, doom. That's an important decision I had to think of. So I hope that waiting a little bit of time on it isn't a bad thing. Oh, I hope I don't regret it. Anyway, um, I'm going to stop talking about the problem that you guys can't even listen into. So, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, everyone voting uh, tomorrow will be like, yeah. <laughs> For real. For real. I don't fucking know what, but that's a good advertise, right? Wait, what is? Um, do I have a little bit of time to think about it? I guess. It's just I've been thinking about it all of yesterday. I guess I should think about it for one more day. I don't know. I feel the tension coming through Frog's heart right now. <sighs> uh, it's a decision decision. It's, it's, a, it's quite the decision. I don't know if I'm happy with it, but I also don't think I'm upset by it. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll we'll think about it. It's going to be a lot of change to this channel. <laughs> it's going to be quite a lot of change happening to this channel in the next couple, not even days, like hours even. I feel like this, what, what kind of color can we go with this money? I feel like a blue makes way more sense than a pink. Like the pink just feels kind of there. Um, you know what? Maybe instead of money, we should have like a coin or something. Because, like, it just doesn't fit with the color palette. Like, money's green. Everyone knows that it's green. Why is she orange? We have a skin tone. Wait, we have a skin tone in this palette. Wait. Yeah, we have a canon skin tone. Why, why is she green? <laughs> I feel like that may be my fault for when I filled in the colors. Um... Oh my gosh, she looks so white now. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to take a shadow color, actually. That, she looks so, so white. Um, Let me just quickly... This color? That's fine. Oh. Okay, that's orange again, but like a little less orange. I'm going to keep that, that highlight color there, though. I feel like it, it will probably lead into the highlight color at some point. Um... Okay, let's see. This guitar solo is so nice, by the way, but I'm going to skip it because it's like a long guitar solo for like no reason. <laughs> Let's just pretend like the world runs on coins in this society. <laughs> Doesn't have to be realistic. Set in England, like 1960s England, two gold coins is probably a lot of money, right? Seems like a lot of money to me. Two gold coins, those would be worth a lot. Winter, sweet time to start. With her manipulative heart, she's full of greed. She's such a tease with the neon blues and greens and sweaty palms. It's hard into thinking that it's cold And when the rain comes back Like it always does oh my god Ooh, British money terms, yeah <laughs> We live in a society So true, so true oh my god, I'm so, I'm so tired Sorry, my eyes are like starting to like Hurt <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be glad to be ending up the stream today um, I'm hoping I'm going to be okay for the longer stream schedule when it comes to it. Um, I think we'll be taking a lot more breaks during that. Like, if you guys didn't know, for the reboot stream, I'm planning to go for five hours, but two streams a week instead of, like, three streams a week. But, um, I still got to have a day on the weekend to myself, because I don't have one of those currently, and it's kind of driving me crazy. <laughs> so, you know. Um, so yeah, hopefully I will be able to handle that. I'm, I will learn to, but we will have a lot of breaks, I feel like, where, where I have, like, food for a bit, and you guys just kind of, like, lurk, listen to some music or something like that, um, because I do need to eat, <laughs> do need to eat, 
do stuff, you know? I feel like I forgot, though. Bricks are good. Yeah, you need time for yourself. Yeah, I, I, I need to, like, prioritize myself a little bit more with streaming. That's been my, my main concern, uh, concern recently, so. Oh, this shirt isn't even the color that is the color. Oh. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, that explains why the, the hand looked so bright. It's not actually that bright. It was just the cloak that made it look bright. And that messed up the whole, like, vibes. <laughs> the whole color vibes. I do feel like color theory kind of just works on vibes. Just as much as every other, like, rendering kind of thing. <laughs> A lot of color theory is just vibes based, which I think is so funny. Mm -hmm. Know me, know me, know me, know me, know me tonight. Why couldn't it load the lyrics for this song? Try again later. What does that even mean? <laughs> oh my god. Bricks are important. Yeah, they are. They are. I'm starting to like realize the importance of them and how I don't really give myself a lot of breaks generally. It's like, it's both in necessity to like keep up with my work and also uh, maybe self-inflicted. You know, self. it's probably self-inflicted too. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Try and take more breaks, like try and make time for myself. It's hard. It's really hard to get used to it, I guess. Because every single time I don't take a, I take a break, I'm like, ah, I can be doing something. I can be doing something. I can be doing work. I could be productive. And it's like, no, stop. <laughs> stop doing that. Hands to myself. Weakness, I lose control. Weakness. Oh my god. Oh, please, just. Okay, sorry, it was in sampling the color. Um, but yeah. Oh, my. Uh, I felt that, uh, like ass before I joined. Thanks for that, Frog. It's okay. It's okay. I'm glad you. I'm glad you're feeling better now. Um, even if it is a little bit of a distraction and I'm a little bit quiet today, I'm glad you felt some happiness being here. That's all I want, really, is for people to feel happy here. I'm really warm. I'm gonna take off my jacket. I'm really warm. I think it's the suspenders. <laughs> I'm so well. I look like so much more of a nerd with just the shirt, though. But I kind of also look like a sexy math teacher. I'm kind of into it. I'm kind of into it. I feel like a, a weird, like, pathetic amount of you could bully me, but also, you know. <laughs> I feel I feel like the, the beginning of, like, some office sex comic. <laughs> they always have suspenders in those. I don't know. <laughs> You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Please don't you tell me no, what I'm talking about. I'm just not crazy. <laughs> like those those fanfics of um of like office workers. I don't know what office worker, but like an office worker. I don't know. The office. <laughs> God, please tell me that I'm not the only one that read office the office fanfic with friends because we thought it would be funny. It was funny. Um it was incredibly funny. <laughs> That's a that's a an amazing and horrible group activity is reading fanfic with um like reading fanfic with friends cuz like sometimes it is just like the weirdest batshit wild writing decisions and it's just so so good comedy gold <laughs> comedy gold like written by like a teen you know it's it's just fun it's just so much fun and I always give them likes afterwards and I say something nice about the fanfic because like, you know, no one deserves to be bullied if they have like bad writing decisions. <laughs> Unless they're being harmful, then, you know, it's fine. We do feel mean, but like also it's like it's it's a it's a sensation of, oh, this is it's mean that we're laughing at this person. But also this person will never know. And also we're going to show them support in in order for other people to see this work, you know, <laughs> Uh, 
because I don't want to be mean to a, a person for their work, especially if it's like their Pride and Joy office fanfic or whatever. <laughs> like, oh, my friend did find recently Friends, you know the 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 series of fanfic, and we were like, ooh, let's read this one. I was like, I do, I rather do anything but listen to whatever the hell Joey's up to. <laughs> it's like. I, I would rather do anything with my life. <laughs> anything else. Thank you for raining on me, by the way, Echo. Um, you are a really hot frog with that jacket. Just You're just made of lava. I will not simp. Yeah, okay, okay. That's what you keep telling yourself. Keep telling yourself. <laughs> you will not simp. That's what you say. That's what you say now, but just wait. Just wait until I show you my fishnet stockings underneath these office jeans of mine. <laughs> I just get up. You know those pictures of like the office suit and then like they turn around and it's like full lingerie. Ugh, fucking gold, <laughs> gold, comedy gold. I love those. I've seen videos, like, TikTok videos where people are like, um, people have been saying they, they hate my mullet because there's just too much party in the back. And then, like, they show their mullet off in the mirror and then, like, their phone dips down for a second and they're wearing, like, full lingerie in front of their suit. It's the funniest shit. <laughs> I would love to draw some characters like that. What was it? Like, um, I saw one of those on Twitter recently and it was like, draw your baby girl like this. <laughs> baby girl being baby girl character, not actual person i hope at least i hope no true the actual person <laughs> that'd be weird Doom. i'll put some like texture in this coat actually I'll put some like some gr gritty kind of, no, I almost said gritty, um, some like comb texture to it. I think that would be nice. Some gritty texture to it. <laughs> um, doo -doo -doo, starts doing the gritty right now, right here on stream. Oh my God, he's literally doing the gritty on stream. Right, let's see. So that works. That's fine. Um... But, 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 God. Oh, hell yeah. I cannot uh, contain yourself. Uh, <laughs> hell no. Wait, I can uh, contain yourself. Keep it down. <laughs> I wish I was good at uh, art. Like, you, you can be. You can be. I mean, I do, like, art theory stuff. You know, I will be doing... Um, there's actually... Oh, my God. I've been trying to make a, a TikTok, actually, for some art theory stuff. Um, so, you know, some uh, some art tips and stuff like that recently. So, you know, stay tuned. And if you actually do want to like be better at artwork and draw like me for example then i will i don't want to say be better but if you want to draw like me <laughs> i will tell you some of the tips i use in my artwork you know, on tiktok so that's some things i plan to be doing with my time but of course i am busy and i'm doing uni and it's blah, 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 blah. it's hard right it's hard to keep up with tiktok consistently so you go to make sure that you have like notifications on for me or whatever um i don't know i won't be posting regularly because that stuff sucks my soul. <laughs> Posting TikTok sucks my soul. And also, it's... I just need to... I don't know. It's just like... TikTok expects me to have so much energy. And I don't have a lot of energy when I'm recording videos. <laughs> like... I know. It seems unrealistic. Unrealistic amounts of energy that they want from me. And I'm just like, I can't do that. I don't want to do that. That's not funny. You know? Oh shit, we're over time actually. I'm gonna rate up now because I'm feeling real tired. Real tired. Real tired. Yeah. My nose is itching. Oh, scared me. Oh shit, why is it like 60 people in chat? Holy fuck. Um, Subathon day two. Uh, art. Ooh, I think. Kavix is still doing this subathon. Do you guys want to raid um a friend of mine, or should we raid uh should we raid a friend or should we raid an artist like a small artist? What do you guys think? Oh my oh, we could raid a um. Uh, do you know what? You guys want to raid my moderator? I know they're not doing artwork right now, but they are, however, being cool 
and are also my friend. So I just want to check if they've done stuff. What are they doing right now? Hello? Hello? I'm going to talk to them. Guys, you want to talk to them? Let's talk to them. Hello? Hello? <laughs> ooh, ooh. I'm going to put like a, a little ooh, ooh in chat. Oh, whoa. Even some... Oh, you can't even see them. You can't even see this me talking in the chat. Um, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, this is slime. This is slime. They're my, they're my friend. My, my real life friend. <laughs> do you know what? Let's, let's raid them. Uh, are you in stream? Wait, are, are they actually streaming? Are you occupied? Because I don't want to stream them if they're like going to end up. Because I know they stream for quite a while, so... I don't know. Let's see if they're actually in the bread. Wait, if they're in the... Where are they? Are they not... The... Oh, wait, is Kavix? Wait a minute, is Kavix doing artwork? Wait a minute. Can I... Wait a minute. What a second. Um, Are you... Wait, let me turn off my music, actually. Are you doing art? Kavi? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Are, you... are they doing art? Are they doing art? Because I'll join this stream, guys. Oh... Oh, sheesh, sheesh. I'll join in a sec. <laughs> you guys want to, you guys want more raid, um, more raid like things? <laughs> you guys want some, some more content of me? Well, guess what? You got it. You got it. Um, let's go. Let's go over to Kavix's channel now. Um, Okay. <laughs> My evil plan is coming together. Anyway, um, <laughs> regardless, calming down, calming down. Uh, there is my socials in the chat right there. Oh, I did. I just take a picture. Oh, I didn't. Okay, fuck. Thank God. Thank God. My camera died. Shit. Anyway, um, I'm going to say goodbye and uh, you guys are all cool and I love you and please go check out all my links. If you're new in this channel, please, please go check out all the links. Um, I swear I post to all of them. I'm so good as a social manager. I'm, I'm, I'm so organized and I post a lot all the time. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> um, raid message. Other raid message. Okay, you guys need to uh, put these in the chat. There's a sub one and a non-sub one, just in case you, you, know, you don't have to spend money here. We're not going to gatekeep it from you. Right. Um, I'm going to... Uh, it Paddy Creative, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, partner. Welcome, welcome, Stinky. Um, and just because you just because you followed, I'm gonna put my put my other link in there. Um, just saying, I'm going to go on Kavix's stream and handcuff them. Uh, yes, they are tiny, so I am gonna handcuff them and restrain them. Uh, bye, guys. See you later. Not in a weird way. I'm just gonna change them, chain them to like a wall or something. I don't know. 